and slamming into that has let the timer tick down. So let's get back to it. Stay to decay two. We're back with our clan, the good guys. And hopefully it's not going to thrust us straight into another horde right on our base. If it doesn't, we'll have a bit of time to suss out what we're doing. Yeah, Bannerlord would be uh, fantastic. And it's got good mood, uh, good modding support, but yeah, once you've had one or two good runs of the game, you find that there's nothing else really to do with it, which is a bit sad because I do heavily enjoy the game. Just Okay, so where were we at? What's going on? Uh, we are taking out the hearts around the brewing company because that is where we're going to migrate to. Uh, I spent 1,000 influence to bring in a sixth member of the group. And am I going to remember who it was? It was probably Docare because we had Von Dougals. He's got his hero bonus for lights out, giving extra stamina. Uh, we've got this big fat lump of fun, Darko. He's really good because of his crowdsourcing. I need to make sure to keep him alive, but... You know, it's just such a fun guy. Why would I not want to use him in dangerous battles as well? Ducare has just joined us. If we get them heroed up, we get ammo for them. They're disorganized. Yeah, that's just what we need. More morale hits. Decent shot. Cashier. Uh, with knowledge of chemistry, which I do hope to foster, because we can max out chemistry and get to munitions. That should be pretty damn good. But to level that up, we're going to need to have them do stuff. Um, we've still got Bellcat hanging around. Even though we've had you for a long time, you've yet to... Get your citizen bonus, so we need to main you a bit more. Good old Leighton, annoying everyone with his nosy ways. Uh, this is a really useless bonus, the experience rate bo uh, buff, especially into late game. Ur Earl, with your silence policy. Not everyone wants to be that silent. In any case, seems we have a weapons for all mission on Ducare. So could it be that you want to prove yourself from the get-go? Maybe so. We shall take direct control of you. And you have nothing good, because I want to bring in people with absolutely nothing, even if they request weapons and such. What's up with that silly rain ho yeah, raincoat hat? Do I have a backpack? I do. Uh, I'm not the biggest fan. I give out the heaviest one. But, yeah, we'll give you the heaviest one. We're going to be throwing you into potentially a fight. So... I think I'll actually give you the prepper rifle. I hope to hell you don't die out there. It's not very good at killing people, but with enough headshots, anything's deadly. I'm going to give you one of our rare... Mm, do I give you the first aid kit? I don't know. Sometimes you can get shot dead, and it's very deadly. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I really don't want you to die out there, though. So I shall actually give you some painkillers and that. Because this mission involves uh, talking to some weapon stockpilers and going stripping their weapons away from them, which can be very useful. So I'll certainly want a car with a big boot. Are you getting an additional outpost now or are you waiting until you migrate? How much does it cost to migrate? That's an important question. 1500 So... Hmm. Did I actually spend 1000 influence? I'm starting to wonder if I did or did not. I'll have to check that. If I didn't, I'll, I'll take away additional later on. Because, like I said, the game updated between the updates and that made uh, manipulating it with the uh, editor take a bit longer. So I need to wait for the update as well. Right. The remnants are over in a roadside pharmacy and got a huge cache of weapons. Sounds pretty good for us. They are pretty far away. They're next to another potential home base, but I'm not interested in the police station. Even though it's very good for making ammo for weapons, I'd rather have the freedom of the brewing company. Plus, I really like the layout of that place. So, this is Von Dougal's job. And he's going to get on it. I could bring I someone with me. Screamers. Could certainly bring someone with me. But I'm not going to because, well, I really need to get this job done, don't I? Uh, you've got... You've got the same amount of carry capacity in both of these places? Alright, well, I'm going to take this then. And I'm not going to take a gas can. Because I need all the space I can get and I shouldn't need extra gas for a journey like this. So let's go for it. You're going to be starting out by killing... Pe oh god, there are six... Uh, four. Four juggernauts out front of our base. Let's hope they don't decide to migrate their way in because they would really do a number on the team. And I really need to get moving whilst I have six uh, members of my team. 
because you need six to migrate to the space we're going to. That was something very nice at Darkseid did. It got rid of the prerequisites for number of survivors to do a migration. Which I think is pretty good. I, I don't like that arbitrary cut off there. I can understand it costing influence, and perhaps even a lot of influence. Hey, remember this road? We had a bad time on this road before. But requiring members, that, that just stops you from doing things like low survivor number runs. I'd love to mod that away, but, you know, modding state to decay. Not the easiest thing in the world. Come on, put a foot down. Now, this is probably going to make some people back in the base unhappy that we're going to do this the, uh, the fighty way. And it could make me very unhappy if we end up dying here. I certainly have not chosen the best time of day for this. Can we I won't be able to see. The pleasantries exchanged? Come on in. Don't fuck up or you'll be fed food. Right, let's, uh... Oh, well, that, that did not do what I wanted it to do. I wanted to have my vehicle something that I could run away from. Yeah, it's always good to cover up the front of it. And a lot of zombies incoming. Shall we do some business? Of course. Wow, they have certainly got guns galore. And the characters on them probably have decent guns as well. It sounds like a good gun. I'm starting to think that fighting these guys might not be a great idea. <laughs> they could murder me. Least of all the zombie problems. <laughs> you know how it is. Humans are the real threat. Holding off talking to them because uh, the last thing I want is to be dealing with the zombies and them. Are there really only two of them? No, apparently there's three, but I'm having trouble finding the third one. So, um, so either I pay, Shall we do some and we can do business. Or I can kill them and take their stuff off of them. They do have good stuff, but uh, I really don't want to pay. Alright, well... Time for you to go straight to hell. This is dangerous, very dangerous, because uh, they're going to want me dead. But maybe I can lure them up here. I'll be safe from the zombies. The zombies which I should make a noise to see if they can come over here. And then if they try and come up, I'll shoot them dead. All the while, they can take damage from the Zombambos down there. God, it being nighttime is not good for me. You want a piece of this? Come get some. Boy, this does nothing. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay, I grossly underestimated the amount of damage I could do to them with this gun. Ooh, but what I could do is perhaps aggravate this play cart. Uh oh, aggravated it too much. And then have them deal with all the zombies that are going to be coming our way. As long as they don't shoot me. God, feral. Oh, okay, well, there we go. It's one of them down. Need my gun back. Load it, reload it, hurry up! Oh, boy! Well, there goes my, uh, my first aid kit. Yeah. Could you please reload before they come and get you? Uh oh. No, you cannot. Come on. You've only got 12 rounds. Oh, they have to reload as well. That's good. Get down. Down and out. Right, I know. I will. This is 
Okay, right. The whole bring the zombies to them seems to have worked. I did have to use my first aid kit though, which is very bad. That's my last one. Uh, I don't think they're going to make it up here to talk to us. Well, they might survive, but I wouldn't count on it. There appear to be three hordes right here. I want to take out the Screamer, right? The Screamer is causing too many problems. Is that the Screamer? Looks like it. There we go. Oh, jeez! The zombie did its up warp here thing. Zombies can just do that. They can just up warp right towards you. I don't, I don't think... I don't think that lady's going to make it. She might. The problem is, they're getting back up, and I want them dead for their goodies. Dead and very... Yeah, see, look at that! They just somehow... Up warp. I would have hoped they'd fix that buff by now, but no. Oh jeez, she ain't getting out of there alive. Car. Right. Oh, jeez, a juggernaut as well. Right, I wanted their weapons off of their dead bodies, but this might not come to pass. I'm heavily infected. And there's a feral there. Damn ferals. Right, could I at least get you on the front of my car and I take you out? Appears not. Oh, there goes my door. Oh god, and there's a blood bloater. Right, well, much as I would like their dead bodies, I'm not sure I'm going to get them. What I should do is get back, trade character, and uh, come back here and maybe find their bodies floating around, or maybe one of them died, but I do think they got back up. I have to hope that uh, they died of regular causes rather than blood plague causes, but it's too dangerous to lose one of my characters. Which is a shame, because they had some great weapons that I would have liked to have steal, uh, stolen off of them. But we still got the mission complete, and I think we got a we got an influence bonus for it. I'm not going to pause to check my influence right now, because my car is on its last legs, and so too is to care. It's lightening up though, so I, I will take another stab at that, but I'm going to switch out characters for it and get myself back to back to fighting fit. And I'll go all the way at home. I don't particularly like to trade out at the outposts, especially when they're so close to home. I also used all of the ammo for this excellent gun. Uh oh. Oh, I see one of my problems as well. The um, the prepper rifle is now damaged. Well, you know what? You can you can keep it, and I shall assume the role of Bellcat because I want your plus one labor bonus. And Bellcat, I believe, is using a bolt action rifle. Yes, yeah, a bolt scout, meaning it'll never jam. So it's fine to use one of these crappy suppressors on it. But uh, it would also be nice if we had any ammo for it. Five rounds, huh? You know what, Bellcat? You are actually going to end up using this rifle, uh, this handgun. Probably going to be better. A day passes, we use more things, and 
Yeah, Bellcat, your job is actually going to be to wipe out this play cart, I think. Whether you like it or not, we really need to move. Do we still have the big... Oh, God, who, who has the big uh, beetle mallet? Well, someone's going to have it. Hello, my I doubt friend. it's you, Leighton. Too gentlemanly to use a mallet. I bet it was tons of fun. Oh, hey there. Yeah, you got the beetle mallet. Hand it over. You can have the parang instead. Nice custom. But there we go. And looking at your skills, Bellcat. You have powerhouse, so you can do big swings. Ugh. Very good. Now, I just lost my last med kit, so... You're going to have to make do with the budget option. I will give you the nice backpack, but the budget option is just a stack of regular painkillers and hoping for the best. I'm going to fix up that car because I may need to use it to um, fix up and fuel up that car because I do want to try and find those dead bodies. That bloater better not get any closer. What bloater? Oh yeah, crikey, our poor vehicles don't look so hot. Keeping them good is difficult. Yeah, this mallet is a plague arc destroyer. It's very powerful. Uh, comes highly recommended by me. Uh, we won't refuel you just yet. I'm sure we'll have an opportunity to later. I don't want to waste even a drop of fuel. So we want to go back to here-ish, because that's where the... Ugh, just look at all those juggernauts. That's where those guys with the good guns went down, and... However that goes, we shall then move over to the play cart and take it out. It's a little risky to do this without an energy drink, because the energy drink is the get-out-of-jail-free card against ferals. And come to think of it, I'm starting to wonder why I didn't take one with me. Great to see you. Come on in. Got the notification Great that see you. the place is restocked, Let's make a deal here. so I always want I'm to check and see that they have fuel and tool. I like both of those things. Give me both of those things. Uh, did you have any... Nice shot. Please, no, stop shooting my car. I just repaired this thing. Please. Okay, they didn't have any um, backpacks or rucksacks, rather. The, the AIs will ignore vehicles in their line of sight check, and they will just shoot right into vehicles if they... Uh, if they're going to shoot at another enemy. And yeah, that's bothersome. Right, let's go. This is our job. Bellcat, you're going to clear out a play cart, maybe, and you're going to gather some dead people's guns, maybe. When you steal a dead person's gun, well, let's not say steal. When you graciously liberate a dead person's gun, it's usually damaged. Probably to prevent it from just being a no-brainer to kill people for their guns. Which means they're just going to jam and have problems unless you repair them, and we don't have a workshop to do repairs. Yeah, I don't mind this time. You there. Uh, hopefully I get too far away for you to chase me. I don't need a blood plague barrel on my case. Right, I am just going to crash you right into here. And I'm going to... Easy there. Get your ass down. Jeez, what's with all that zombies? I know you want to rest, but uh, I don't want you to get nibbled. It's down, not out. Oh God! Right, well, so much for this. A horde's on its way already. Hold on, I think you were one of the ones that went down. can't tell, but I think you were. Uh-oh. Well, this just got ugly. I don't hear any zombies. In plague territory, that never lasts. Right. I gotta hope that they don't notice me and they disperse. And that they don't do their, uh, Climb up and grab you regardless, routine. 
and then I want to scout around for the dead body. I was hoping to get in here all quiet-like, but those two zombies, they let out big roars and just brought in uh, the horde. I miss the other streams. How are you liking this versus Dark Side? It's no Dark Side. I think Dark Side was harder, and I like the other changes Dark Side brought. Okay, maybe I didn't like the fact that Dark Side doubled the length of night time, but the clue is in the name for that one. But it's still good. It still adds some extra challenge. Some much needed challenge because lethal mode on its own is insufficient. They're not making noise, but they are nearby, creeping away. Doesn't look all that possible right now. It would have been easier if I brought a distraction with me. Okay, well, at least the bloater went and blew himself up. And that's kind of good, because that might uh, bring some of the zombies away from this side. I want to slide down, slide over there, and just be generally quiet when no one, no one comes and bamboozles me. Get down, stay down. Stay the other side. See if we can't find any of the dead bodies. Assuming they died, they, they may have risen again, and that's a problem for me. A problem for me and my greed. That's a dead feral. That looks like a dead survivor. No. I guess they're not survivors if they're dead, are they? There looks a touch suspicious. Yeah, definitely. Get down and give me your goods. Whoa! I didn't. I didn't even know you could do that move. That was pretty cool. All right, this is getting a little too hairy for me. But yeah, there's a there's a survivor whose gun is definitely about to become my gun. And I'm pretty sure we took one out earlier as well. Ah, my turn to be background. I don't know, I was liking the TTD music. It actually made me fire up my TTD save. The worldwide one. <clears throat> Looking at it, all I could see were things I wanted to change and fix. So I don't know if I'm going to set up another save of that in my own free time and do another. So look, yeah, that was exactly what I was worried about. All right, screw it, we're running first. That up-warp ability that zombies mysteriously have is just bizarre. Right, get over. Get barbecue spranged or whatever I'm using. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh god, this is gonna get worse. Empty. Let's hope the next place is better. So I'll just try and use Bellcat's superior speed. She is bound to win because her speed is superior. As long as you can break line of sight and get down, you can generally sneak your way back all right. Of course, occasionally, one of them does this. It's just important to not let it snowball, which is easier said than done. Remember, I'm here for those good guns, assuming they are good. There's a couple of missions popping up, but this is this is the game at its best. You're trying to do something in the game, throws all these other uh, problems at you. I don't know if Bellcat's going to be well equipped for taking out the play cart, given how messed up she is. She took a real close-up bite there, and I did not give her extra plague uh, plague cure. I'm sure I have extra plague cure. Heavens knows we have a million samples, but this is what I'm here for. Two out of three corpses off of the well-endowed uh, survivors is pretty good. And don't think I'm not going to try for the third. What do you have? Uh, a Vector SMG with a professional thingamajigger heavy. is very good. Where did I ceremoniously park my car? There it is. Professional suppressors. Hmm. I prefer professional brakes, but professional suppressors are great for when you're on the move. 
also just be very gingerly putting that away. I don't mind ditching that back back. I certainly want to put those away. Breaching hammer is quite nice, so I'll store that. But yeah, I'd happily drop... Well, actually, I'm going to actually take that combat knife for Belcat. And we shall see. Actually, given the situation, I will consider dropping that. Depends where we find another corpse. Equip the suppressor. You know what? That's not a bad idea, but I'm not going to do it. In fact, it was a very good idea, and I should have done it, but I didn't. Okay, Ducare is healing up from his ailments. I'm still hunting down that corpse. Or corpses, maybe another one. And something I quite like is that the, uh, the bodies of the deceased will persist. I don't mind that plague sample. I don't need many of them, so I will ditch them if I find something that's quite good and I want to keep. Oh boy! Duff is on the prowl. I might cut my losses at two. Good. That's some good stuff. There may yet be another survivor just hanging around. But you know what, maybe I'll find him later. Uh, I think it was one of the girls had a... I, I don't know what it is, but a, a single handheld, or it looked to you like you could hold it single-handedly, magazine-fed shotgun. I don't know what it's called, I've used it before. It's really cool, but I, I just ultimately don't find it that useful. Because I, I think I used one point blank on Duff and I didn't even stun him. Okay, hey Jake, been really enjoying the past weekly one shot. Still enjoying it. Looking forward to weekly one shot 500. That would be a big number. Uh, right, I'm going to take you out, grab you, uh, probably equip you, detach the mod, and then attach the mod to my pistol. This is damaged, so I don't really want to use it. Surprisingly, this is not damaged. In fact, bolt action never breaks. Unequip that mod, equip that, equip that onto it. Uses 760 something rounds. Okay, actually, then I'm going to use the Arctic Warrior. I'm also going to refuel our vehicle here a little touch. Also, got a grenade if everything goes really badly. What do you think, Bell Cat? Have you got it in you to take out that play card? Oh, Leighton! I took a long drive to clear my head! But he's improved his morale for it. That doesn't improve my morale. He says he's sorry, but can we really trust Leighton? Should be building materials here, well worth the little scavenge. I'll check the boxes, but I won't chuck off everything because I don't have space for these goodies. Well, it's something. Ooh, yeah, I'm getting kind of the point where I need chemicals. I'll take that. I won't search that because it almost certainly doesn't have building materials. This almost certainly does, looking at the shape of it. He's a gentleman, he wouldn't lie. Oh, yeah, that's true. I bet one of our other guys would have just lied about it. Look at this. Oh, nice. hell yeah. Landscaping supplies get. That's going straight in the car. One of the worst things that Belcat to do, could do is die with the beetle mallet on her. Mmm, that beetle mallet just completes her. Take a little shortcut. Oh, maybe not. It's covered in barbed wire, and you're putting oh. yourself on display there. Get yourself swapped out for that. Mmm. Nicely suppressed, scoped. It's a shame it uses the most expensive ammo in the game, the 7... 7.62, right? Damn, boy. Well, there was a survivor out there. It's gone now. Wandering around in plague territory might be a bad idea. Goodbye, freaky friends. Who knows, we might find the other survivor. Whoa! Jenks, did that guy just spawn out of nowhere? The game has reasonably good persistence. Although it did despawn my backpacks after an hour. I wanted those. I left two backpacks of food. 
swore I'd come back for them later. I take the opportunity to trade with an enclave that's nearby here. The cannibal enclave, actually. There, that's the brewery that I want to take. I like this. Lots of big open fields around it, so you can see threats coming a mile away, and it's got very good areas for building on. So, in there's the play cart that I'm after, and this is actually a little bit convenient, because we have friends right here. Plunk. I can come crawling back to them in times of need. And, uh, yeah, I mean, they may die, but at least they'll help us out. Let's see what's up for trade, eh? Sure. You're okay. You can hang here. Uh, you you want to help with that? Okay, so they do have a gun between them. It's very variable in how armed enclaves are. Found an enclave that had three people very well armed, and so was that enclave that I just went to. But that makes sense. They were a story one. Yeah, why not? Loads of mystery meat uh, that they have, but I'm more interested in selling to them. That said, I don't particularly want to part with any of this stuff. Do I have anything in the car that I would want to part with? No. No, I do not. Well, this is risky for Bellcat, who is already injured and half-plagued. But if that heart goes down, we can immediately move into our new abode. I've searched this area quite a lot. I think there's still bits and pieces around there, but that's okay. We have um, outposts that we can go back to. Hold the ammo instead of the melee weapons to reduce weight. I think I'm not getting myself under heavy, no matter how much juggling about I do. I could be wrong, but I might not be. All right. So someone's got to do this job, Belle, and it's going to be you. She, if she takes out this heart, she's almost certainly getting her level up. Oh, God, look at there. I wonder if I can take the back door. My weapon might be suppressed, but it doesn't make it silent. I would still alert all the zombies in and around the house if I shot it. Silent weapons are decent for taking down an enemy from a distance if you have no one around you. Or just generally doing... I want to be in here for long. Ooh, okay, so it's either make a noise to get in through the back, or... No, those might be the zombies from the front that have migrated. If I can take out fat ass on the front, I should be okay. Let's go for it, Bell. This is what you trained for. Stompy, stompy, you noticed me, so I just take care of you. A bloater exploded nearby, and that probably took some attention away from me. Although there's someone else inside. Oh boy. Well. Where is it? Here it is. Come on then. Give it a good old smack. And you're gonna have to run. Uh-oh. Feral. Where is it? Screamer nearby. Hello, friends. So we're way onto your roof. This would be nice and easy. Ah, here we go. Don't worry, I will help from here, genuinely as well. Oh boy. One, two, you can check on the minimap, three. That's a very small, um, small sound thing. Where was the bloater though? Or the screamer rather. It's part of the horde that's over there. Don't mind me. I'm 
I'm glad these cannibals are so happy to host me right now. Get off of my friend! <laughs> That's so badass! Okay. Uh, given the ammo situation, I'm going to attach this to my pistol now. Don't know how silent this pistol's going to be. And it will get ruined by having a suppressor on it, but not nearly so bad since it's a well made one. Screamer's got to go though, wherever it is. It's just going to cause a lot of problems here. You can do it, Belle. Just gotta ruin that play card today. Remember, you've got the emergency grenade if everything goes peak tong. Is a throw a new patch feature? No, it's a skill. I believe it's Powerhouse. The reason we didn't see many of those skills, or perhaps even any of those skills, in my longer dark side places is because, uh, due to my own oversight, I did not add the traits to the survivors that lets them specialize into those kinds of skills. So they all only got the default skill that doesn't have any. That was almost a problem. Alright, go for it, Bell. Uh, I didn't want to do that, but whatever. In we go. Give it a big gun. Oh god, already? And there's our ferally friend. I would like to just kill him, but if it were just him, that would be no problem. Single out, single out, single out, single out. There we go. <sighs> oh! Oh, okay. <laughs> Apparently that feral was actually something I was uh, contracted to do, or they contacted me to take care of it. Are these the happy campers? No, this is someone else. I don't know what happened with that, but there was a mission where someone wanted me to take care of a freak. And maybe that was a freak. Don't know, the missions in this game can be a bit of a mess sometimes. Oh jeez. Alright, you want some of this? Come get some. Go, Bell, go! Go, Bell, go! Boy, there's a few of them. Nice. Oh boy. I wish these happy campers would help out a bit more. They're not that, they're the brain something or others. But that bloater's not allowed over here. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, it's just a fat ass uh, laying on the ground there. That's no big deal. Oh, that, that was the bloater. Right. Move. Fire in the hole. That might have actually hindered rather than helped. Doing my part. Guys, what you need? Let's see what's up for trade, eh? Sure. Honestly, buying a single snack might not be the worst idea, so that I can stamina up and out of a grim situation in there. Although, come to think of it, since they're the cannibals, what do you think their snack is? It's probably like human jerky. Whew. Oh, hey, great. Taking out the feral tipped us over to Hero, which is fantastic. That screamer's got to go. I would like to take it out with a pistol, but... 
I would prefer to take it out ah sneaky like. I'm still doing a weird wandering about, but that's okay. Whether they see me or not, the screamer will not see this coming. A reminder, Jake, your fighting is maxed out. Well, thank you. Let's get you some... Mm, sword player or endurance? Uh, I'm going to go for endurance here. I imagine Leighton would be better for sword play. Tell me Leighton doesn't specialize, please. Okay, great. I want Leighton with a sword, so we can reenact the ending to uh, Professor Leighton and the Mystery of the Drug Air. I forget the name of that one. Uh, I think it's actually a diabolical box. Pandora's box in the European version. Alright, get the job finished. Although I will say, I, I never liked in Darkseid how obscenely tanky the hearts were. But in this, they seem really soft and squishy. I've only taken a swing at it like twice maybe, and it's about to die. I think it's hurting. I let up now. Eat your snacks. There we go. Was that really necessary? I mean, everyone's having a hard time here, and you just have to say, is it so hard to take out a plague heart? <laughs> Uh-oh, blood feral. Move it! That's not a one-shot solution. That's a get-your-friends solution. Way to handle one of these things. Can't catch my breath. Actually, I thought I had the drop kick attack, but I don't think I do. But with a heavy blow. No, no, that's not what I wanted. Oh, damn. <laughs> I wanted to do the melee attack against the. Uh, the feral, because you can finish it off in a way that just looks so cool. You just very angrily keep shanking in the face until it's dead. I really like it. Uh, this I like considerably less. I think it might be time to... Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. It hurts, it hurts, it hurts, it hurts, it hurts. Go, Bell, go. If I take out the nearest plague heart, this might clear up. It says site not secure and it still shows that it's plagued. I hope there's not another plague heart nearby. It could be though. There are plague hearts all over the place in this mod. How many was it? Like 40 or more? Eat my car door. Tonk. Yeah, it's showing all red as if to say that there be, zom uh, there be plague hearts here. He just keeps spouting his conspiracy uh, theories. Right, so... Claimed by Plague Heart, but we don't know where. So there's probably a Plague Heart around here. I need to use this to locate what's nearby. Uh, that's unfortunate. I really wanted to move here now. And I really want to get Bell to safety. But it's not like I could just set up a safe house around here. Still plagued. What do you think? Do we walk over there and back? Or do we take the car? I think we walk. Cell tower outposts are a must, I believe. Cell tower outposts? What do they even do? I don't think they did that much, but that might have changed in the updates. Let me think. There's a cell tower here. Permanent safe area signal booster. Gain or improve computers. Extended scouting range. 
Oh, my own materials. Kind of tempting to upgrade the command center. Mm. One more outpost. I do like outposts. But I'll hold on to my materials. I might need a lot of them for the move. not a question of one or two zombies, right? One or two zombies is no problem. Even a significant number of zombies is not a problem. The problem is the snowballing. Sure, you might kill these two zombies, but if you let them see them, if you, if you let them see you, maybe one of them lets out a roar, and maybe that brings in three or four more zombies. And one of them roars and brings in a screamer, and it roars, and it brings in that nearby feral. I don't want to get any attention drawn to me from up here because if a zombie does its up warp grab, it'll infect uh, Bell entirely. So for now, let's just take it easy and find those play cards. I just spotted another play card. Oh boy. Well, that's good for now. Oof. Oh boy, you're actually claimed by two additional awake play carts and two sleeping play carts. We need to clear out the area a lot more before we take that. Unfortunately, this beetle mallet will not survive all of those attacks, I think. I will need a workshop to maintain it. By the way, could someone unclog the toilets so we can be a bit happier, please? It's almost ready to move in, right? Well, someone else needs to take the uh, take the charge on that. Oh man, bang goes some of our food. Hopefully, we're not too unhappy at the lack of food, but we do face quite a lack of. Oh dear! Uh oh, only one left. All right, come on then. I'm gonna lie, a little bit panicked there. It would have been fine with him on his own, but uh, get down, fat ass. The fat zombie could have uh, mauled me and then left me open to a follow-up from the plague. Uh, plague feral, right? First things first. So that infestation horde isn't going for one of my outposts. Been a bit more lackadaisical this time, thankfully. Although I doubt that was changed in the hotfix. The hotfix was there to fix a crash and a mission thing that was incompatible. Right, don't worry, Bell. At least for you, the fight is temporarily over. Uh, I've got a backpack, so I want to bring it all the way back home. My zombies are getting to me. I need to be more careful. Bell's such a badass. You can hear the fires roaring in the engine. No one's even bothering to put it out. Well, I suppose we're not base wide water, do we? Right. Tell you what, I'm getting that upgrade done. There we go. I had too many materials. I need to spend some, or else they would, uh, or else it would disappear. I hope nothing hard to... yeah, me too. Right. Detach the mod, put these away, and uh, we'll keep you locked and loaded, Bell. But that, actually, that gun was really crappy and not very powerful, wasn't it? You can maintain the Bolt Scout, actually, but you definitely need to rest up. And don't care, you, uh, oh, you need to go catch the thief before you do anything else. And your weapon is banged up. I thought you had a bolt action. No, you're using the damaged preppers. Eee. Right, I don't want this gun to break on me. I don't know if guns even can break. But it's in dire need of maintenance, so... I'm going to take off the suppressor, put it away, and instead make sure that you have something that can really dish out the pain. 
Mm. Do we have anything that can dish out the pain? A little low on good guns. Why is blood plague cure one of my things here? I see an unusual specimen. The uh, the wandering campers want me to bring them some plague cure. I don't want to give them plague cure. It's expensive, and the bonus they give is really crappy as well. But I think I will give it to them anyway. Also, where where the where the thieving gits go? Give you a metal bat and. Let's see, I do want to kill people, but I don't really have the gun to kill people right now. Yeah, I, I mean, I really don't. Hunter, Viper, Hobbyist 1911. It's a pretty powerful gun. How do you feel about killing people, do care? Good? I hope it's good, because that's what you're going to do now. So apparently, Darko knows something about the thief. And we have more infestations on the move, which is a well, it's all a damn shame. Oh right, if I'm if I'm tangling with humans, I I want the ability to heal at least a little bit, so I will take at least one pack of painkillers. I don't know any painkillers that are that fast acting, so in a way I'm jealous. He took off with the food. That's a lie. Hey, good luck. I know where the food went. Tons of fun. Freaking Darko. Put your gun back in your purse. Where did they go, anyway? Oh! Oh! They are right next to our friends, the transplants. I wonder if they'll fight with us. Or for us. Mm. Oh, jeez. There's a feral pack over there. Get over here. Didn't want that uh, infestation popping up there. However, I have brought in some problems. These armored zombies uh, don't go down so easy. Not the bullets, at least. Guys, ferals! Top of my best ideas list. What is that big bloaty set? Oh god, there's quite a few coming in. Yeesh. Okay, well, thankfully, that at least happened outside. It's not telling me that someone has blood plague, which is good. Stay down. Okay, that might not have been a great trade. Barrel almost killed poor uh, care here. Oh god, bloater in the house! How did he even get in? 
Right, did anyone get horribly plagued? Apart from Ducare, Leighton, Leighton ate it a bit. And someone's still unclogging the toilet. Okay. Uh, I, I guess I prevented an infestation or two. I think it was that the other infestation was coming along and it decided to join in for the ride. But I'll go and give Fat Miner his cure. I'm not going all the way down there. Uh, and I'll take care of that thief with my 26 bullets and no healing and mm, lots of plague. Yeah, Warlord needs to get his practice in clearly. Give me another two of those, please. I'll take one and I'll use one. It's a little risky. Actually, it's so risky. I wonder if this was in the base game or not. What you can do is you can go to your infirmary and you can... Where is it? It is here. Great. Just by using plague samples, you can clear your infection. As long as it's not terminal. And yeah, yeah, I've had people tell me before, is it really terminal if you can get better from it? I don't know, I just call it terminal when it maxes out. Alright, let's go. Two jobs for the price of one, you get this done, you could become a hero in no time. That hero bonus isn't very good, plus one ammo per day, but at least it's something. It's better than Leighton. 50% extra experience is admittedly very good for leveling people up, but there's so many sources of getting extra experience in the game, and you already level up with incredible speed, so I don't really rate it as a particularly good one. No need for violence. Can we take a moment here? Alright, someone's unclogged the toilet, and uh, you give yourself the same voice as Leighton. Yeah, you don't look so hot, friend. I only took a little food, I'm starving. Well, that is a damn... Whoa! Jeez. Jeez Louise. Hold on, I need to, I need to reload. Zombie, take care of the rest for me. Not of me, of him! Uh-oh. We oh, seem to have attracted some friends here. God, he seems very keen on me and, uh... Not of all these zombies around us. Okay, I see. I see you've maxed out cardio. He deserves what he's got. If I were the thief, I'd, do, I'd expect the same thing. Out of my way. <laughs> Leighton wasn't happy. Okay, and his, his friends have arrived. Oh gosh, hopefully quite a few friends. Uh, did I hear a very big friend? talk to you, but you know, there's a lot of zombies around here. Can I get some friends to help out? Oh, oh no! It's multi-duff and he took out my car! Oh, you've got your own problems. You gotta, you gotta play, uh, play feral. Oh, that's not the only problems we've got. We got a lot of hostilities going on. Oh dear. Yeah, and my car is toast. Oh, and there's Duff right there. I didn't leave a medi pack in my car now, did I? These guys are so dead.
Did they give me a good bonus? Uh, I'm actually wondering how much I care about them. I can't see it from there. But I can see that my car is uh, destroyed. Toolkit needed to get it running again. Nothing in the back seats. Air, air, air. Right, I have something resembling an idea. I'm going to take out my last toolkit, put it in there, and go and help that fat miner. No, I'm not going to clean this out post. They're a bit far away from my landmines to make a difference, sadly. This is my outpost. Grab the toolkit, fix up the car, and go and save Fat Miner at least. Ugh, it's my last one. I can hear all the shooting going on back there. I'm really injured though, I, I need to actually keep these on me. Chugging painkillers to keep Decair alive. But yeah, uh, Duff can just walk into a car and break it. Oh, oh jeez. Look who's still there. Are you hostile to my friends? I don't actually know. I know who is though. Uh, Duff is. Duff is tearing them apart. There's only two of them left. And I actually don't want them to die. They give me bed and breakfast, which is really good. Another one just died as well. There we go. That was exhilarating indeed. <laughs> really? All right. Well, double tap, I guess. I still need to help my friend Fat Miner. And, uh, are they still alive over there? There's certainly four duffs. Certainly taking these guys' weapons. Let's make this somewhat worth my while. There is one person still alive over there, probably cowering inside the Spiral gas station. Oh, wow, yeah, yeah, I definitely want my food back. That's a given. Where's the other dead body? Anybody remember? I think it was over here. Yeah. Oversized mallet is pretty good. Certainly take that. And now it's time to very gingerly walk away. sell these backpacks. I sell most of the stuff, actually. But I gotta go and save my friend. I can't not. Oh, crumbs. I thought I had space for another thing. Um, put in the debt destroyer. I want to sell some stuff to my friends when I give them the, uh, the cure. But we gotta get over there. Quickly, because they already warned me that they are frustrated at my lack of help. Duff one, two, three, four, and uh, another fatty on the ground. Who is the survivor from that group, though? Now, when it comes to groups that I have edited in, I have sworn to never steal their equipment. If they die, they. Uh, their equipment stays with their corpse, because otherwise it would be way too overpowered just giving them the guns that they asked for. Alright, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. Fat Miner, let me help you. We're tapped on Plague Cure. Here's your Plague Cure. 110 influence was slightly less than that Plague Cure was worth. I think it's worth about 125. But, I want to keep you guys sweet, because I want you to, well, I want you to buy my rubbish for one. But I want to buy your building materials, toolkit, fuel kit, and I almost want your ammo. I really like ammo. It's not that much to spend, so I will take it. Okay, right. Good job, to care. You took care of that. And here's your marathon running specialization. 
Do enclaves ever replenish their numbers? Nope. If an enclave goes down to one survivor, they'll be at one survivor until that survivor dies and then the enclave disappears. Enclaves will respawn though. Or rather, new enclaves will spawn in their place. So if you have like five enclaves and you kill even all of them, you will have them randomly spawn through missions and events and you can do the radio command to find other survivors and that will spawn a new friendly enclave. Meaning you only need to do one mission to get them allied with you. Right, well that was that was a heap of suck for them. And I'm really curious who's still alive. Get off of my car. Splat. Perhaps too curious for my own good. Shall we stop in and see who's still alive? Someone is still alive in here, right? Oh, hey! Zingus survived! And he seems pretty upbeat about it all. Shall we do some business? Cool. Sounds I mean, I already bought the stuff I wanted off of them, but Zingus, where's your friends? Where's your buddies? Ooh, ooh. Oh, does it not even name them? That's kind of sad. Well, whoever it was, it was the one that gave himself the X1 combat crossbow with bayonet and a rusty, a rusty screwdriver. But no, it doesn't name the corpses. That's sad. Well, that's really unfortunate, but at least Zingus is alive to continue to provide me with bed and breakfast. So they somehow provide me with food and, uh, I think, two extra beds. Let me check that here. Where's the bed and breakfast thing? They, they do still do it, right? Yeah, here we go. Available beds, plus two, thanks to you. Zingus, you are our bed. And plus one food as well. It's a pretty good combo, but I am short on food. I'll need to get more soon. This property appears thoroughly ransacked. Yeah, by us. Looked like me. Yeah, that was me, said Sir as well. Uh... Duffman is immune to bows, so no matter how many times you shot him with that crossbow, he would have never died, if that makes you feel better. I doubt it does. Right, um... Ducare is actually alright, could potentially go out and deal with more of these hearts. They do need to die, after all. And the hearts could be... Um... Did I empty the whole heart? I don't think I did, but it's not showing up here now. I thought it was in a light grey garage, or maybe this... Whatever. Uh, I'm sure the heart is still there to be ransacked. But it's getting a little dangerously infesty around here, isn't it? It certainly is. I'm going to drop off the stuff back home and uh, probably switch out again. We really need to get to work on those hearts, though. And damn, it's night again. No, you didn't empty the heart. I think I opened it up and I grabbed something out of it. That was a plague barrel. Jake, you mentioned something about modding the lighting in this game last time you played. Can you use a mod for that in this run? Modding the lighting? I don't ever recall modding the lighting in this game. That doesn't mean it didn't happen, it just means I don't remember it. Wow, we've got a lot of scouting range. We can see uh, freaks for miles. I have two outpost slots, though, and I am... I'm actually kind of tempted to take the tartan mark, because it would be a cheap way just to give myself two more food per day. I think that'd be greedy. Actually, what I should probably do is just up, uh, upgrade the corn farm to get more food. Ooh, oh, right, that takes quite a lot, and you need to know how to garden to do so. Hmm... Probably is a not bad idea just to take the tartan march for now. I can abandon it later. This is just to keep the food flowing for a wee bit because you eat twice as much food on lethal mode. There we go, it's only 300. Well worth it. 
as long as they don't get infested with uh, with hordes. Maybe I should have followed my first impulse for getting a shotgun then. Yes, you should have. Shotgun is quite effective in AI hands. Drunk school. Still going to loot this place though. Keep my wits about me because I know there are freaks nearby. Plenty of them. Modding the lighting. I really have no recollection of modding the lighting. I really like the lighting in this game. I don't know why I'd want to mod it. Our stores of fuel right where I expect them to be. Okay. Are you keeping in mind that Leighton just frivolously threw away two of them? Wow, two whole parts. Although I haven't been grabbing a lot of parts lately. Parts of the P, not hearts. Oh, I just spotted the plague feral over there. So why do people say that the cell tower is so important to get? No, I really like how dark this game gets. I, I would not want to be changing it. I mean, sure, it's frustrating when you try and do something at night and you can't see the zombies approaching and whatnot, but that is part of how cool it is. Cost 400. We can learn computers, we can change out, do the pants. Reduces radio menu cooldown times. I never tend to find that that's a big issue until the late game, so I'm not going to, I'm not going to bother securing this. It's also with all of my other uh, outposts, so there's very little point to doing so. Also, I'm kind of keeping you safe with this. In fact, I could even put down outpost defense to save you. I could have exploded all of the uh, all the juggernauts there. I didn't, but I could have. The toilet is not clogged for now, probably because Boomer hasn't been on it yet. And back we go, go. Boomer was very unhappy and threatening to leave the community until we installed a toilet for her. And then suddenly, ah, uh, she was so happy again. I would never normally bother with the toilet so early, but uh, it's been very hard to keep the community happy. Oh, hell no. Someone want to deal with that? There we go. Do care knows how it's done. I think that played somebody though, right? Yeah, Leighton got a little bit of a snag there. It used to be that if you dodged a feral attack, you'd still get injured by it. It was so cheap and horrible, but it's largely fixed now. Okay, doing not too shabby. Plenty of building materials. You can upgrade the latrine? <laughs> I didn't know that. We would need plumbing and water though, and no one knows how to plumb. Alright. Jolly good. Hobbyists 911. I could do with some more big guns. It's kind of a shame we didn't get more guns off of the people we were talking to earlier. And I don't want to give you damaged weapons. Again, we need to get those fixed, don't we? Good break. Hmm. Tempting, but we'll leave you as is. Okay, who is taking out some plague hearts? Also, why do you still apparently have a mission going? I do not see a mission, so let's ignore that. Leighton and Belcat are busy. Mm, that's a shame because they're a powerhouse. Well, ooh. Leighton. Oh, I don't think Leighton has sword, uh, sword thingamajiggering. Darko is a powerhouse. And whilst I really don't want to lose him, he's going to have to get out there. And the happy campers once again want stuff off of us. I hope they give us something eventually. They want some plague samples. I'm like away a now. I got quite a lot of plague samples. I don't know how many they need, but it's usually something like five. I wouldn't mind losing five if... Uh... Oh god, no, not that many. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. I don't think I really want that custom on me, but... It might be nice to have it professionally suppressed. And... and, 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 and... Oh man, who did I leave the big 
Ooh, a Gladius. Bellcat was working previous before, right? Oh, Bell. Bellcat's a powerhouse, though. I'll give her the big old shovel. A Gladius, though. I don't remember yeah, finding a Gladius. That screamer but... minds its own business. Clearing up these plague hearts should be top priority. I know, I know, I know. Just give me that, and you can have that. So many, inf yeah, infestations. Not to mention siege infestation right here. Yeesh. But we are gradually expanding our influence. I like this. I like this bit of pushing back against it. I can't believe how much stamina as fat as has. Right, uh, I will give you a better backpack for more space. And I do want to take out a plague heart or two. So, oh, I've only got one energy drink. I do have more stimulants, though. Mm -hmm. Maybe you could take a stimulant. But I also want you to take some painkillers. And, uh, let's see, since this place is... Oh, that's bad sound. Duff! Duff, look at me, look at me, look at me. Ah. Ow! Oh no, oh no, oh no. Guys, we have a situation. Oops, I did not mean to use that, but it's probably the better that I did, so I don't get too knocked down. Ow. Infirmary. I want to treat that small uh, plague hit. And I want to uh, use one of those. The mallet is breaking. My anti-plague heart uh, buster. I need a. I need a workshop to fix it. I might have to make a workshop. You though. Oh, he's already down. Is he down? Yeah, look down. Oh, freaking hell! Layton. I love you more with every passing day. Who can play at that game? Who's the fattest ass around? Whew. True gentleman always secures the kill. That was dangerous, real dangerous. I guess it stands to reason. I mean, we did have those uh, those fat asses wandering around idly here. But, whew, that was scary. Real scary. I'm gonna continue to just chug the painkillers. You usually end up with way too many of them, so uh, don't mind me if I just continue to grab those. Anybody too injured from that? Oh god, look at Von Dougal. They almost ripped him apart. Same with Bellcat. And uh, Leighton didn't go down without a, <laughs> without a scratch. Right, I can't use the all-powerful beetle mallet anymore, but I'm not going to get rid of it. It's really powerful. We will eventually be able to fix it. Until then, I'm going to use... I need another heavy weapon. Um, didn't I just give Bellcat a big shovel? Yeah, Bellcat can have a Gladius instead. I, w I need a heavy weapon to deal some damage to hearts. Yeah, we're still at the first base because there are so many play carts that I can't actually access the next one. Alright, there you go. Make use of that. I'll make use of the big shovel. Well, let's go and speak to our friends and get some get some mileage. 
I underestimated the prowess of Jake. Phenomenal work. Oh, it's only four juggernauts. Two of them plagued. But yeah, um, so what I did was I initially went out to try and distract the, uh, the fat asses out here so that the guards could take good shots. When I was under too much pressure, I just tried to help out as I could inside the base. Right, so happy campers and at least two of these play carts need to die. Probably that one is priority because it might clear up some area here. Uh, wanted to check the back of here. It has one bit of fuel. That should be fine. I just hope I don't break the car again. Always a doozy when that happens. You have a horde right on top of you and you want me to go and help you? No, they don't. Th Who the hell are you? We helped the happy campers by taking down a feral. Okay, somehow, but now they want to play. Well, yeah, sure, why not? Why not? Let's go for it. We'll help them, we'll trade with them, and then hopefully we'll come back with all these goodies. Oh, oh! Whoa, that was close! I thought that was a screamer, but no, it was a fat ass. Where's the infestation horde? Can't see them. I'm most in, most interested in knowing if they're trying to infest um, an outpost, but they weren't. They're not the biggest thing. They're not the biggest difficulty thing to deal with, but I still don't like them. You know, if it's relatively clear around here, which it may or may not be, I would like to loot that play cart. Of course, the moment I came here, I attracted a horde. But that's fine. Duck and weave, duck and weave. I think that was a sound of a bloater. Oh, that's right, I'm not using my glorious, uh... I'm not using my glorious beetle mallet. If anyone can hear this, I wouldn't mind a bit of help. I'm not the world's biggest fan of helping mysterious broadcasts. It kind of makes you want to go out of your way and do extremely dangerous things for no good reason. Jeez, okay, well, this is going bad from bad to worse. Maybe I could sneak out, though. Oh, no, another horde's on the move, but maybe I could still sneak out. Uh-oh, uh-oh. There's now an infestation here? For real? For real! those nine mils, that will immediately be useful. Uh oh, oh god, I might have caused some problems with my friends there. Alright, well, I kind of took care of that. I'm not sure my happy camper friends are going to be that happy or camping for much longer. I wanted to open up the play cart. Oh, there's still three of them, but they are hoarded beyond belief. They might be okay, though. Who am I to tell them what they can and cannot achieve? Nothing Howdy, there. Palmar. <laughs> you heard that, didn't you? Well, I'm surprised you didn't. Well, still, let's close this up, let that gas dissipate. At least it wasn't plague gas. That would have been the end of poor Darko here. 
Right, what do we have? Professional break on another SP5K custom. Drugs. Uh, ooh, ooh, yeah, some of this is really good. Another rescue knife. Good backpack. A high-end stick. Bottle of painkillers. Yeah. Oh, more plague samples. Well, actually, that's pretty good. And a first aid kit dropped out of the fat ass. I am just going to eat these painkillers. They're going to do almost nothing for me, but not nothing. And then I will take that, and I am so out of here. It's kind of worth it, but those goods would have still been there regardless. Okay, well, they're still fighting over there, and they're still... Oh, one of them has died. But that's okay. The, uh... Oh, yeah, right, um... <laughs> Give it your all, folks. Give it your all. Out of sight, out of mind. approach here. I don't want to hit bloaters, and I do not want to uh, leave myself open to being ravaged. Am I, am I down in some like little hole area here? Good thing this vehicle is all-terrain, apparently. The mood is depressed, probably because Boomer clogged the toilets again. There we go. Please unclog the toilets after your mess. Right, I drove all the way across the map to a plague heart, so please make this worth my while. Oh no, let's, let's not have any escalation here. Just get around and be quiet. Really freaking quiet. Here's some plague samples. Ooh, they give me supply drop. Now that is actually good. And they have some probably good weapons. God, they even got C4. Right, uh, you can have my rescue knife. I don't really want to trade you any of my other stuff, though. I want your fuel. Hmm, professional suppressor on the spec ops. That's just kind of worth it, just for what it is. I gotta steer clear of those plague zombies, or I won't get better. A high rate of fire on the Soviet PPSH. Oh, I can't not have that. I'm taking it. Yeah, we need road assistance. That would be great. But there's a very specific and difficult group you need to deal with for that. Still want that fuel, so I'm taking that fuel. But an AC, uh, an APC nine RT submachine gun, airspace alloys, good fire rate. I, I, it's not worth like a thousand influence though. This almost is though. Mm. I want it, but it is just a sidearm. Doesn't sell back for much. Oh wait, no, that's different. Custom, custom, and then spec ops, which is apparently worse than my custom. Alright, well, let's not worry about that. You gave me a goodie. Um, so what they've given me here is a supply drop. And a... well, we're gonna, we're gonna do that. And actually, maybe that's a good reason to get the cooldown thing. I would like some food while I'm here, though. We got anything that deals in food? Spoon and cone will have food. Hope I don't wake up the heart, but let's go and see if we can't secure some ice cream. PPSH is a cool gun also. Well, it also came with 51 rounds. And it fires 9mm, which are not too expensive to make. Definitely going to be good in the hands of the AI. The AI works very well with automatic weapons. They can rip apart a, uh, a juggernaut as long as they're just given a good clearing, a good firing line for it. Right. Oh, bollocks. You are not what I needed here. Please don't wake up every zombie in the vicinity. Just give me my ice cream. Ice cream? Not ice cream, but... I mean, almost as good. 
I do like energy drinks. On rucksack of food. Ugh, hearts. I mean, 25 hearts is good, but... I can't justify it right now. Anything else that might have food in here? Dewey's hardware, army and navy outfitters. I mean, that might be a good thing to have in general, but no, we're getting back. I'm really injured. I don't want to engage a plague heart like this. Especially with my character, who I very much want to keep alive. Uh-oh, he spotted me. Oh, this is about to go bad, so I'm getting out of here. Nearby horde as well. But I did appropriately park my car, so this shouldn't come as too big of a risk. people, but at least they're all better than Lily freaking Ritter. I am so sick of hearing Lily. Thankfully she's kind of stopped talking a lot in this run. Maybe they're not pushing uh, going back to Trumbull Valley so hard. Fuel capacity on this vehicle is gash. Don't worry. Colliding with things in general with a car is safe, even rolling your car around. What is not fine is hitting zombies. Zombies, particularly on the front of your car, ruin it. But the most deadly thing is just uh, the juggernaut walking into your car. It's even more deadly than even punching it. Just for some reason, just juggernaut idly walking into your car is the worst thing for it. Gotta be careful here. I don't want to wake up all these play carts. I'm carrying fuel on me, right? There's no way I wouldn't be carrying fuel on me. That would be silly. Does the normal game have radio music? No, no. I mean, who's going to be operating a radio? Now shut up already. For music, at least. Right. You know, I could, if I feel ballsy, take a stab at that play cart. I need to take down four before I migrate. Don't. Donk. Hitting uh, zombies with your car door, unlike hitting them with your front of your car, is actually not bad at all. It just injures the door, not the car itself. Oh, damn, I had my friends I could run to in times of need, and now I don't really. That's right. Who would have thought letting all of my Enclave friends die would be with setback? Again. Oh, hey, it's Zingus. How do you how do you feel about taking on a uh, plague feral? Zingus, buddy. I mean, I don't want to do it. Thanks, Zingus. stuff to deposit into the base here. In a sense, pretty much all of this. Oh, I, I was throwing that into the car, not my backpack. Whoops. But it gives me an opportunity to refuel. It's quite an unrealistic public radio broadcast for zombie apocalypse. Nothing at all like an urban dead. Yeah, urban dead feels a bit more realistic. Just fun posting day and night. I'll keep the gas can in there. I guess this is your, your new weapon, a Soviet PPSH. You've earned it. You've certainly done a lot for us. Detach that mod and throw it in independent from the weapon. And let's not abandon, not upgrade, but we will switch you out for... Mm, Decayer is still a little banged up. Who would I like to switch you out for? Boomer, you're the only person that's not banged up, so... 
Come on over. How do the plague hearts wake up? The plague hearts wake up by zombie activity, uh, you killing lots of zombies, screamers screaming or attacking the plague heart itself. Also, they can wake up due to other plague hearts in the area waking up. And yeah, that can just cause a domino effect, which is less than pleasant. You got a professional break on that. Maybe we'll give you a... Uh... Ooh, the P2245 Elite's a really good sidearm. I'm going to take that and suppress it. And then if you need to be silent, you can use that. And if you want to be extremely loud, you use the AK. The Feral is still next to Zingus. He's probably not happy about that. And your weapon is a pipe wrench. Oh, man. We're still unclogging the toilet, but... Why is everyone so unhappy? Oh, right, they hate all the infestations. No one's being too annoying about it, but... We'll have to do something about these infestations at some point. I need to take out the hearts and move over to this brewing site. But man, that's a lot of hearts. And I don't have good weapons for it. And I don't reasonably have a way to uh, fix the weapons. I don't want to tear down my watchtower. And I certainly don't want to tear down my infirmary. But I don't really have big heavy weapons other than my damaged beetle mallet and a few other... It's all just blunt, 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 isn't it? Well, I could try just using the gun. I haven't tried that yet, but in vanilla, just shooting a plague heart with a lot of bullets is a very quick way of destroying it. On top of that, I have a break, so the gun shouldn't have any horrible jamming problems for a while. Uh, that said, let's not be throwing Boomer's life away. Let's make sure that Boomer has a get out of jail free card or cards. Alright, let's go Boom. Surely someone needs to get on the Urban Dead Airways and let them know about all the opportunities waiting for them in Trumbull Valley. Please God, no. I might actually stock a toolkit with me. My poor car is not looking hot. As usual, it's my last toolkit because I always only have one toolkit. They're very hard to come by. I would like to trade with you guys. I haven't spoken to you in ages. And you're in a relatively safe area. I also need to just spend some time clearing out infestations. There's always so much to do in this game. Hey, apparently there's food up in the nursery. That's a flower nursery for the people that are just uh, tuning in by sound. Oh, no, that's a fat ass. Do not engage. My favorite command, the do not engage command. I didn't, I didn't set a course. There we go. This rock isn't a terrible place to park the car. Oh boy, that, that's a little terrible. That was a ton of noise and I need to be scarce right now. Oh god, a whole freaking horde is right there, right. I'll lose them over in this uh, fire station. I cleared it out in the past. Whoa! No. Oh boy, more no. Oh, another one. Was it another one? Was it a feral or just a regular zombie? I think it might have just been a regular zombie. Oof. Uh, ferals can dodge cars. If you're really skilled, you can still run them over. But uh, I, I'm not aware of them being able to dodge bullets. That's a new one. It's 
still like the fact that Voomer can't stand to watch herself be uh, the character in control. Makes her wince too much, she simply can't watch. I wonder how other people feel when their character is uh, up to bat. I think it's less stressful when you're one of the Enclaves, because, uh, you know, you might live, you might die, you, you're on the sidelines anyway, but here, there's a lot more... A lot more on the cards. What do you need to craft toolkits? Um, I don't know if you can do that in a high-level workshop. I think you need an automobile construction area. Which I don't think I will ever have. Right, locate the heart, destroy the heart. Ah, oh, crap. I was hoping to do this silently, but. It was not to be. Alright then. Where's the heart? There's the heart. Observe. Get off of me. Yeah, that was expensive on ammo, not nearly as cheap as I was hoping. Uh oh, there is a feral. Move it! Well, I said a feral. My instincts tell me it's more than one. Actually, if it is just one, that's great. Silently. Oh, the, the drink has run out. Okay, well, don't worry. Take that thing out. There we go. Uh, did anyone keep count of the amount of bullets that cost? I think I had like a hundred going in there, and now I got about thirty odd. It was definitely less than 100, but that's still not very cheap. Definitely more cost-effective to use a, uh, a melee weapon. Okay, there we go. You reloaded on 23 left. Well, I got 31 now. Question is, how many did I enter with? You started with 99. That's like uh, six ammo resource worth of weapons, I think, depending on your munition skill. Wow, that, that infection recovery is very slow. I might just give uh, Boomer the special treatment. But I do want to ransack the play cart first. Ransack the play cart, get it all back to the car and get back, and then we have only three more to go. I really want to get the move done. You're not afraid of the situation, are you, Boomer? You're our hero. You know how that song goes, I need a hero, etc, etc. Oh boy, that seemed to have tickled quite a lot of them. But that, that might be good. Well, it's not so good that they're going towards my car, but it might be good if they're away from the barn.
I don't know, can anyone flip back in the vault and just check how many bullets I went in with? I'm leaving with 31. And let me think, I spent like 6 or 7 on ferals. Does a wooden fence count as breaking line of sight? No, I just got enough distance on them. Zombies have very poor vision. And if you're crouching, you're very hard to spot. When you make a dodge like that, you're silent, but you still are... Uh, you're silent, but you're quite visible when you do that. But doing this? Oh, man, you, you can be very close to them and not be spotted. Jeez, just hordes galore. They're paying homage to their old play cart. That's probably not a real thing. God, they're freaking everywhere. If I had firecrackers, I would throw those to dis uh, disturb them and move them away. Right, make this quick, Boomer. Let's just at least secure this side so I have somewhat of a safe area. Thanks to Von Dougal's light-out policy, I have a good amount of stamina for something like this. It was 32-ish for the play cart. Used 68 rounds, not sure how many on ferals, but let's say 6 or so. Yeah, that sounds good. So it's not bad. Uh, the late game for dealing with the play carts is to manufacture as much ammo as possible. There are some ways to go about that, but ideally I will find a crafting, a crafting kit for bullets which I can use on a workshop. Another way is to use a Warlord Survivor's... Oh, wow, this is pretty good. A Grease Gun? Rescue Knife? Backpack? Painkiller? Stimulants? A Heavy Weapon! Great, let's have that. Are you a powerhouse, Boomer? No, you're an acrobat. Uh, okay, well, good for you. Let's not have you use that. Please don't make a noise. Please, please, please don't make a noise. You guys sound like the character out of We Happy Few. I'm so sorry as he breaks someone's neck. God, that game sucked. <laughs> we Happy Few was really bad. We cleared up quite a lot of this area, actually. I could make another outpost. I don't want to, but I could. It's a clear run back to the car, so I'm going to take the opportunity to loot this little outer area. Chemicals are nice. They sell for a good amount, but they are also necessary for some upgrades. We Happy Few was a game that had a single idea and nothing else. It really feels like a game made out of grant money. Possibly by Canadians. Pipe bomb. Pretty good. More weapon parts. Those we just grind down four parts in the workshop. It's kind of a shame I have to wait so long to get a workshop. Normally I would have one very early on. But, you know how it is. Our people need a toilet which needs to be constantly and manually flushed without water. Yeah, they were Canadian and I could smell it. Right. Maybe keep the fuel bombs on me just in case. But uh, the rest of that stuff, away you go-go. Maybe keep that on me and ditch that for some weight management. Kind of surprised at the weight of some of these things. Anyway, uh, going back for the rest. It's relatively clear. I should be able to run there. Grab myself that pipe bomb, and there is something upstairs as well. Oh, two things. I missed the beginning of the stream. Is something big happening? Did we move base? We were working on moving bases, but uh, the brewery, which I thought only had... Uh, only had two 
No, I thought it only had one play card guarding it. Actually, had five play cards guarding it. So we have taken out two of those five. Don't break your bits like Leighton did. Very good. And we grabbed everything. That was a good haul. Let's get it back to base. Uh, I am going all the way back to base with Boomer to get her completely healed up from this plague nonsense. And I'm going to have a little think about a fourth outpost before heading back out to the Frey Bentos. But yeah, current priority is dealing with the play carts. Although, whoa, let's not drive through that. Oh, by the way, Zingus, do you have any more goods for sale? Uh-oh. Don't shoot my car, don't shoot my car. Hand it to Zingus. <laughs> Mine! Oh, he, he shot it, but I was doing the one hit kill on it. Wanna trade? Cool. Sounds good. Oh, I don't think he's refreshed his stuff. Uh, I can sell him strong painkillers. I don't think I want to sell my stimulants at this point, actually. I really need stimulants to take out play parts with heavy weapons if I could find more heavy weapons. Although, granted, we Wanna did trade? just get one, didn't sure. we? I'll leave you, leave you be with that. Was there anything in my car I wanted to sell? Not really. All right, back home we go, go. Yeah, Boomer's wits are way up there. Stealth, quicker sneaking, quieter interactions, increased stamina, lighter encumbrance, weapon durability. I think I'll go for stealth because. That lets you do this, running around while crouched. Stealth is so good. I'm hard pressed to choose something over stealth because running while crouched is so good for covering distance and not covering yourself in zombies. I need to take it easy, or I'm gonna get sick. I know, Boomer. I know. I think I'd never played this game before. I'm looking forward to not having to drive all the way back here with goods. I can just go back to the. Go back to the brewery. Right. Away goes all of the stuff, including that lovely looking grease gun. There we go. And like I said, Boomer's really, really sick. And I'm not gonna clog up the infirmary with her. Wait, it's got such a big mouth on him. Right, there we go. We can do that to get rid of your plague. I'm gonna switch over to. Docare is actually feeling well. Let's go for Docare. Oh god, there's infestations all around. They could launch a siege. Siege threat isn't huge. And our noise level is really low, actually. I wonder how long that toilet's got to go. Uh, Docare, you are going to clean out some of those infestations. What's your skill again? Chemistry. Hmm. I really, really do want Docare to survive so I can get that chemistry operational. Now take with you a light crossbow and light crossbow bolts and get cleaning. Just keep it keep it clear, keep it under control. At least they're close by, so they should be simple to destroy. I will change bases as soon as the base is available, but it's not available right now because it's covered in play carts. Three more play carts need to die, as we can see here. Three play carts block it. Unless there's another one here, then it'll be even more than that. But yeah, these three play carts gotta go. First you, because you're active, then these two sleepy ones. I do wish I could just make more ammo. It, it is actually making me think that I should get rid of the latrine to build a workshop, and then I can repair my, my mallet. In fact, that's what's gonna happen. Sorry, sorry everyone. Yeah. Wow, the latrine's pretty cheap to make. Uh, the workshop is less cheap to make. Right, though, we need to clear out these infestations or else everyone's going to be on the edge. So I'll take these three out. I mean, given the way the game is going, it's probably going to instantly replenish them, but... Is this suppressed? 
It is not. Okay. There's a bloater in here and a screamer. We only need to take out the screamer, but if we do take out the bloater as well, there's an extra drop. Well, a drop, period. Non... Oh, crap. Ah, oh, crap. Where's the screamer in there? I did think, oh god, that's a strangely contorting zombie behind me, but of course it was the screamer. No, don't, don't kick the zombie, get up! Oh, there's a feral here as well. Regular feral, though. I think he can climb up here. He'd be better to take out with a pistol. Although the noise would be uh, hard to ignore. Come on, roar in a place that I can see you. Jeez. Well, I've never been the world's biggest fan of staying up in these high places, but let's go even higher. An infesting horde is on the move, and it's going to take one of my outposts. That's bad. You. Jeez, I really don't want to be spotted. Come on, then. Come on, Feral, I'm not afraid of you. But you should be very afraid of me. One to stun, one to kill. But the screamer here needs to go. Wherever it... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Multi-jug is back. Oh, God. There was the, uh, the bloater. All right. I don't feel like I've left this place any less infested, but... I am not happy hearing all those jugs. Yeah, they're pretty much taking over this place now. I need to get that, uh, that other place back. Feral along the way, hopefully not a plague feral. Because I'm knackered and I don't have a dodge on me. Not when I'm this knackered. Guys on the watchtower. Just just let me rest for a little bit back home. What are you playing on? I've completed this on Dread and almost a nightmare. This is lethal with the No Man's Land mod. The No Man's Land mod adds a lot more hordes and uh, a lot more multi-freak hordes. In my opinion, lethal is the only way to play the game. Because it brings attention to it. That other modes just do not provide. That said, oh my god, these infestation rates are uh, otherworldly. So what's in here? One fat ass and one screamer. What was the difficulty on the last time you played? Lethal Dark Side, but Dark Side is no longer supported for the game, and uh, there are no plans to. There is no plans for the modder to continue to support it, so that's a little unfortunate. I think I can see the feral from here. Not the feral, the uh, the screamer. Um, they're not the only ones being seen. It seems this is going to make some noise. When in doubt, remove noise by using crossbow. Just need to find the screamer and put them down, and then this infestation is history. But yeah, in a house like this, they're usually locked on the inside to make it more difficult to get them. Yeah. 
Can I sneak my way in? Oh good, the zombies didn't lock the door. There he is, and there he goes. And there's the bloater. I'd like my bolts back, please. I'm actually just going to be very patient and get those bolts, because it looks like he dropped more light bolts for me. Get down. Get down! I want to see if I can upgrade the... the, wor the workshop, but I just need this gas to go. Is it gone? No. Right, give it a moment and <laughs> give me the bolts, give me the bolts, give me the bolts, go. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I swear we're not removing any infestations, we're just creating bigger ones. Still, Dokair is surely happy. Yeah, Watchtower on front was a fantastic choice. Bellcat's going on about our prescription meds again. Right, this is a dangerous one. Three screamers, two ferals, even a even a juggernaut. But Docare is not afraid. Docare wants to show the world that he can be a hero and give me that ammo per day. So Docare is going to reload his gun for one. Going to make me really think about um, putting a silencer on it, but I think. I will pass. Just uh, chug some weak painkillers. Grab an emergency bottle of Gatorade because things can go pretty south when there's one of you. And I really want to unplug the Tartan Mart. I don't like having my food being clogged up because we're actually a little short on food. And people won't be happy by that. People are not happy in general because I unplugged the toilet. More materials I needed to do the workshop, but I will be repairing the beetle mallet and using that to clear out the other uh, hearts, because as we saw, beetle mallet removes play hearts from the equation. Oh, it's so good. And yeah, sorry to care, you got to do this one by foot. Yeah, bombs would be good for a sticky situation, but you only have 10 inventory slots on you, and that needs to matter for everything you pick up along the way as well. Huh. You know what? Corn farm. Corn farm is going to put in some incendiary mines, which is a little cheaper because of our chemistry. And now we're going to invoke Vietnam. I heard you, Farrell. I didn't see you though. Where are you? Oh, oh God! I thought I was going towards my uh, my corn farm. No, my corn farm's over here. <laughs> Never gonna catch me. That's the stuff. Come get some, you ugly bastards. Sadly, not counting as my kill, that. Come on, tons of fun. That's what I thought. Did he drop an M4X2 light SSW with a hundred rounds and professional break? What the hell was Juggy holding on to? Gun nerds, what is this? That's a twin drum magazine. I'm starting to wish I had brought a. Uh... Oh man, a professional break. It's a hundred rounds of freedom. 99 98 97 96 oh, 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 let's not get too cocky here. I don't want to die to this. Actually, let's heal.
heal up while we're here. I really do not want to die with this awesome gun. What kind of rounds does it use? Hmm, not the most powerful, but... Just use that. Well, finders keepers, this is your gun now. Over there, a bloated one. So, uh, put that away. Kinda wish you could use a crossbow as a sidearm, since it's completely silent. But, uh, I still need to clear out this infestation. But then dropping extra bolts is certainly welcome. So yeah, that's actually pretty good if the infestation is near your hideout, or near your outpost. You can clear them out using that. It's not free, of course, because that cost me 50 parts and 3 ammo resource. But I currently don't have a big use for ammo resource, so... I think that was pretty good, especially since we took out a uh, zombie at his gun. Kind of feels like Interloper in Long Dark and Beach coming though. The zombies dropping such powerful weapons feels very overpowered for lethal. But hey, I'm scrambling for what I can get, so I'm taking it. Where's the screamer? I don't see it. Oh, now I see it. Whoa, hey, hello! Were you part of the infestation? Uh, there's a lot of zombies here, though. Oh yeah, the screamer went off, that'll be why. And I'm still hurting. It's okay, I can still go Vietnam. Vietnam? Yeah, there we go. Sweet. I'm going to use this opportunity to clear up quite a few of the hordes, but uh, Docare doesn't feel very good. So maybe Docare could keep that equipped, deposit your goodies, and we will switch you out for Von Dougals. What's causing explosions? You can plant landmines near your outposts. They, they actually act more like um, napalm strikes, really. We've got a handmade suppressor on a big Hank rifle, which is kind of nice. It fires peculiar rounds. Let's again keep an emergency thing on you, but otherwise let's go. Oh, you use a big heavy weapon as well. Uh, what's the other infestation that's on the move? Ugh, it's also heading, heading to my outpost. Can I intercept that in time? Powerhouse maxed out. Excellent. You don't need to specialize that. It's already specialized. That barrel is too close. Come on, big honk. Yeah. Oh, God. That was a pack of them. Well, thankfully they're going now. I'm still trying to take my, my stuff. I don't want you to take my stuff. Thank you, Big Hank. Wasn't there another bloater here? It just popped up saying outpost enabled or outpost defense enabled. I don't know what's up with that. Something happened, but whatever. As long as these guys keep blowing up. And let's go and talk to Elizabeth. Ooh, those napalm strikes are nice. That frees up all of our outposts, and hopefully I can mm, go and deal with some hearts now, because we can fix up our weapons. What's up? I'm from New Zealand, says Greg Murphy, 051. Well, welcome. 
We get plenty of Aussies around here, but not the Don't world's highest amount of Kiwis. Jeez. Yeah, the fact that we now have multi-feral or multi-blood feral packs out is concerning. John holds the record for engaging with seven ferals at once and living to tell the tale. Did right, Lizzie, you know? what's your story? I got separated. Can you help me get back to Tartan Mart? Where's Tartan Mart? Down south. Oh, 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 I don't think your buddies are going to be doing too well, Lizzie. But I do want those, uh, those bolts. That's a fair distance. I'd rather... Uh, by the way, what's going on back at the base? Do care can get healed up. Maybe I want to grab Bellcat for her uh, her other mission. Good old landmines. Creeper heading toward us. I want to clear out this infestation while I'm at it. And actually, for that, we're going to detach the mod so that Big Hank can make extra big loud noises. Come get some. That's the point. We got landmine station to take care of this problem. Which is good because Juggy is right there. One more. Well, that was a terrible shot by me. Gotta be careful, fire can really hurt you. <laughs> and it can't distinguish friend from foe particularly well. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. Give me the plague samples, give me the bullets, that's good. Rounds for the shots that I missed. And while I'm here, I might as well check the house. Okay, she just wants to jump off, that's fine. Good, I don't see any hordes on the move, and... Double good, the people are not so concerned about all the infestations anymore, they're just concerned about... How nosy Professor Layton is. What mod? I'm running the No Man's Land mod. Adds more hordes, bigger hordes, more freaks. Makes the game harder. And I don't doubt that it does, but it's no Dark Side, right? Just think about the siege we had in Dark Side Drucker. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Salvatingly good. So I strongly suspect that when we take Elizabeth back to her friends, her friends are all going to be dead and the place is going to be infested. But... In the first days of the outbreak, I was assigned to a small town in the Rockies. I saw the people there rise up. They fought and died with us. I thought I knew Brotherhood before, but I learned its true meaning that day. The gamers rose up. Oh, can I trade with you, by the way? Yes, 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 ignore the zombies, they are, uh... Oh, oh, there's a few more than I thought. If I could trade with you, that'd be useful, because I've got too much crap on me right now. The AI can have some strange ideas about when they want to use their guns, and when they want to just rush up and melee a juggernaut. But it can lead to some fun times. Okay, good, they will trade. I want you to trade with me. So, what do you need, friend? All right. I want your building materials. Take my gummies. I'll take those. Coffee is kind of nice. Handmade break, you know. Thanks. Take my seeds. Take my ethanol. Give me your... Coffee can be a bit of a lifesaver in certain situations, so I will take her coffee. And I want to give you... I assume that's tampons or toothpaste? So... What do you need, friend? A single tampon. It's worth more than several bullets. 
I mean, I guess I think the infex the infestation's been going on for multiple years right now. I doubt the tampon factory is still going. Well, what do we have here? Craftsmanship I'm textbook. Listening. So, what do you need, friend? I have to hold on to that. I'm just you. Ooh, hunting crossbow. You might think that's kind of cool, but actually, I'm gonna unload it and I'm gonna sell it. Yes. So, what do you need, friend? All right. Yeah, I actually do not like high power crossbows. It just makes it far more likely that you're going to lose your item, your yeah, your bolt. Still one bit to loot around here, though. Where is it? There it is. More seeds that I don't particularly want, so I'm going to drop this. Grab the seeds. I'm listening. Sell so, the seeds. What do you need, friend? Of course. Grab this back. And I think I'll drive you to the Tartan Mart. I got a lot of mod on my State of Decay 2 on PC. A lot of mods, huh? Pretty much all the mods broke with the update, sadly. I really miss Dark Side. Hey, there's a feral lurking nearby. There we go, that's pretty good. Let's run back, Lizzie. Unless I want to use explosions for any more um, infestations, but I'll pass for now. I really gotta get a move on those plague hearts. So if he's better, I'll switch to Decare. Not really, uh, that gas inhal inhalation really did a number on him. Everybody is non-plague though, which is good. Right, it's just a short run home, so let's go. The only chatters we've lost are chatters in the enclaves. I've kept the entire main team alive. For now, this single blood feral could easily change that, because I'm at half health. I hope the team are on the watchtower. Come on, lads. Are they not on the watchtower? You think that would be priority number one? Boomer, please. Okay, there we go. Ah. There we go. God, I love it when your team actually responds with bullets. Right, why did I say I was coming back here? I can deposit the materials. Not quite enough to upgrade the workshop. Hmm. Increased parts from weapons. And what was the... Someone was just complaining about something, but I didn't hear it. Probably just because everyone's unhappy as usual. They missed the toilet. We'll get the toilet. But what I really need to do is repair this thing. Hold C to repair mallet. It costs a l Oh, God. So I only have a hundred odd parts, and it costs most of them to repair this thing. It's still worth it, but I need to start tearing apart other things for parts. And I think I'll get more if I install the salvage furnace. So I'm going to install that, and once it's in, I'm going to start tearing apart a lot of my weapons for parts. Okay, that does make a good lot of sense. You keep old Big Hank on you, and we're gonna switch over to Bellcat. It's time for me to work on something more personal. I'm grabbing T Dogs Pharmaceuticals. There's probably a lot of meds over there, so decent to bring a half decent uh, vehicle for it. You got the Bolt Scout. We have bullets for the Bolt Scout, kind of. And that's a crummy handmade suppressor, but this will never jam or break on me. I'd still like you to have a fast-ish firing sidearm. Take the M17, make sure it's fully loaded. This is your, let's say, chased by ferals and need to fire like crazy to stay alive routine. And since you're a heavy user, you can take the beetle mallet. And we're going to... Drive you down to what is probably an infested area here. I'm going to trade with my friends. 
they can have the crummy-ish backpacks, and I don't really want to sell many of the other things, or really any of the other things I have. I'll sell them the high-value uh, high um, painkillers, because those go for a good amount of money. And I think that's it for selling. Alright, so how's this working? I'm going to go down, trade with you, help you with that and then go to the barn which is over there and then if I'm still kicking we're going to take care of one of these play cards so I'm going to do that after a quick water break I'll be right back Bohemians saying that working toilets would be high on their list of misses in the apocalypse. We have a toilet here, but I don't think it could be counted as working. What an amazingly spacious toilet. I'd feel, in a way, nervous doing my business here with such a big empty room. Not to mention the not very privacy allowing amount of window in this room. Right. So many bleeding missions and they're timed as well. Right, what did I say? Heading out south. Trading. Delivering Elizabeth, and we'll be okay. Let's go. I don't have a lot of trade materials, but I'm doing pretty good on influence. I got three thousand. Although I'm halfway am convinced. I wrong, or does that juggernaut have blood? Juggernaut. A juggernaut down there. Hopefully, just one, but uh, probably not, because I left behind a bunch of them earlier. He is isolated, but there's no way I'm taking a risk on that unless I want to tear Elizabeth in half. She does have a gun, but let's try and actually deliver her to her friends. We'll not have a repeat of Kelly, maybe. Did I have a toolbox in the back of this thing? Well, that's alright. Enclaves usually sell toolboxes. And I haven't done my supply drop yet. I keep meaning to, and I keep not doing it. We'll do it eventually. Right, first off, talk to our friends, see what they have to trade. Try to always park your vehicle with your nose right against the wall, it's very good for the vehicle health. Somebody found some weapon remains, that's kind of cool. Can't we smelt those? Uh, strangely enough, no, probably because we're installing a mod, if I had to guess. Right, friends, if you could stop shooting and mulching zombies for a bit. How do you aim like that? 
also. <laughs> yeah, so some of our AIs asked for M32 grenade launchers. And uh, that begets a fair bit of trouble. Just please don't. Please don't shoot my car with that. I'm having a hard time talking to these guys because of all the zombies. I can always help with that. Somehow it lacks the same impact as when Darko does it. It's still very cool though. Oh, I should not be wasting my mallet. That's something I'll keep in mind. Mallet is very good for uh, for everything, really, but let's not waste it on running the mill zombies when we've got a perfectly suitable foot. Man, powerhouse is even better than I thought. Okay, I, I really want to trade with you. Could we stop uh, stop killing zombies for a change, Meridian? Let's see what's up for trade, eh? Why not? Food. I'm actually going to take your food, toolkit. Fuel, that's great. I'm going to sell you my painkillers and a couple of backpacks. Uh, I kind of want those parts. I'm going to take those parts. Had a bit of a part problem now, so... Okay, good. We actually have a toolkit and space for toolkit. I'll drop you. I'll keep the parts, because you often find parts. Now, down we go to... Wait, uh, this is the survivor in me. Yeah, this is Elizabeth. Right, we're doing Elizabeth for now. Godspeed. If I take out the nearest plague heart, the AI friendly fire off. weapon is cause for concern. Yeah. Yeah, you I've never died to an AI using explosive weapons, but they can certainly There's an infestation here, isn't there? Yeah, yeah there is. Okay, Elizabeth was so keen to get out and help deal with it. That she just jumped out. Probably isn't going to go well for anyone involved, but let's do what we can to help. <sighs> okay, let's go then. Keep your distance from the bloater. There we go. That takes care of the infestation. Just those two is all that's needed. And now, maybe if you get off my car. Whoa, that's a bloater! How much left is poor car? The infestation's kind of gone. Oh, but I think their survivors are still in there. Right, uh... I don't want his car to blow up. I will, I will, I will... Maybe take it to this ramshackled old place. Hopefully no zombies around. If there are, I'll just take care of them. In the Bellcat way. Gosh, she seems awfully happy about it. That's something you're not telling us, Bellcat. That's a lot of stuff. I know, but this fuel, this uh, car needs to keep moving. You have two toolboxes exactly. That's one. Why I want to use one of them to fix up the car here and now. That is so powerful. I suppose it's so powerful because I'm fighting one zombie at a time here. If I were fighting, say, uh, a load of them, then it would tie me up in that animation and leave me like a sitting duck. I found, I'm happy I found a way to direct my anger and frustration in a productive way. Alright, alright, what's going on here? Well, there's a screamer. The screamer's gone. I hear a feral. Oh boy, oh boy. Get off of me. Deal with my friends instead. Oh, oh god, there was a blood bloater inside there. This is a mistake in a lot of ways. Bye bye. They want me to talk to Elizabeth. Well, look, I, I, got, I got problems right now, Lizzie. Oh god. So much for just repairing this car.
I don't, I don't like this, Lizzie. Can you, like, run away to me? No? I mean... Uh, my car is not doing too well, and I'm not doing too well, and I don't want to, use, I don't want to lose Bellcat here. I'll tell you what, I'll talk to these survivors. Maybe they have something to fix me up with. I'm going to need to use the other toolkit already. Just trying to save Elizabeth and do her Hello, silly mission. Our home isn't much, but we share what we can. You don't even have a roof. I suppose one thing to keep in mind is that this does drink your stamina. But not that bad. The your animation, your stamina starts refilling even during the animation. So I suppose it's pretty good. Come on, folks. It's getting dark already. I need to get my trading done. You're still on your feet. Hello, Henry of Scallops. What have you got for us? Sounds good. Uh, you got fuel, and that's it. An oversized mallet. But it's only blunt, it's not heavy. I'll still take your fuel. Oh, building materials. Certainly take that. I guess it makes sense that they'd find plenty of building materials here. Easy does it now. Not what I wanted to hear. Keep it clean, keep it clear, keep it under control. This is seriously too heavy. You bought their roof off of them. <laughs> They should have. They should have thought about that before they wanted to sell it. Uh oh. Uh oh. I see you there. Uh, that feral is definitely going to come and cause me some problems. But so is everything here. Whatever. It's still gonna go. Thank you, crummy suppressor. All right. I, I wonder. If, I wonder if Lizzie's gonna be all right down there. Probably not. But it doesn't stop me from wondering. I would like to talk to her. I could reverse over a horde or two as long as there's no bloaters. But if I recall, we left a screamer over there. Oops. Right. Are you gonna stop being a so-and-so, Lizzie? Join my group. Keep your chin up. What have you got for us? All right. You just got the crap I sold her. I'm not recruiting you. So you just keep your chin up. Mm -hmm. Oh, she's abandoning her enclave here. Damn, I thought maybe she'd keep it. Bye bye, Lizzie. I'm still gonna say hi to your friends, though. Your friends should be dead on the ground somewhere. There's a bottle of painkiller? Well, I'm certainly eating those immediately because Velcat's not feeling so great. But where are your dead friends? Also, this is the second time we've come here and found a dead enclave. Maybe they weren't here to begin with. That nearby plague heart means there's no real security here. I don't see any corpses, so maybe they just upped and away. Okay, well, Bellcat's going for a stash next. It's it's in well, I might even take over Value Wagon just to get some even more food. Because we're constantly mulching through food. Although I do have some to bring back to base. It's just if we have the outposts, we may as well use them. It doesn't come with any real ongoing cost. What's, what's one of that shooting? Is that Lizzie? Well, I guess she's doing alright. Upgrade some outposts to get more food. The cost of that is really high. 
and I don't want to upgrade outposts that I have I see as temporary. Yeah, I think we're gonna take that outpost. Jeez, you're still a level two infestation. I'd like to clear you out, but there's always so much to do. That was a good old juggernaut. Am I going to be able to take this with relative impunity? I want you to chase me a bit, that way you'll fall over. And I'll just take this the back route. Oh, it's full of zombies, okay, well. Fortunately, Bellcat has a way of dealing with that. This place isn't empty yet. But how does she know? <laughs> She's so happy! She never works a day in her life, does she? I'm, this should be an for us. I'm agreeing with you. Let's take it. Because it costs so little and gives so much. Are out of We're in and another infestation. Trouble. Okay. Right. Uh, I still need to take care of my stash. This is a new infestation. I might as well take it out whilst it's low leveled. So I will blip you and then blip you. And Equipment Shelter might actually have some goods for me en route. And I can take the opportunity to ditch these two things, and just in case things get even worse, I'm going to eat one bit of painkillers. <laughs> Maybe our overdosing on painkillers are just kicking in at long last. I don't see a screamer. Oh, that's how they get you. Gets really dark really quickly here. Reminds me of being in Japan or Florida. Even in Hungary here, I'm kind of surprised at how quickly things get dark. But it's fast. There we go. Thanks to all the outposts, we're only really losing one food per day. Actually, I wonder, can I smelt from here? I should check, because I want to get all my smelting done and then uninstall that fuel costing device. Uh, salvage? Looks like it. Alright, I'm going to salvage most of this stuff. Not the cool thing, so the Gladius is going to stay. But most of this other stuff. Mm, Parangs are nice. Branding iron is... That's going. We need parts, basically, is what I'm getting at. Deck destroyer, away it goes. High-end stick, yeah. I mean, some people might like that, but I can't. I can't bring myself to get rid of a mace. I keep heavy weapons because they're better for taking care of. Hmm? Since when do close combat weapons give reasonable amounts of salvage? I thought they only gave one part. Well, rusty screwdriver, rusty screwdriver, away it goes. And can I salvage the guns? Yes. Do I want to? Maybe. I got a lot of crappy sidearms that I don't particularly want. Fire rate on the Tassie is pretty high, and revolvers never jam or break, which makes them kind of nice to keep as a suppressed sidearm. This Glock 11, uh, Glock 17 is already mangled, so I'm just gonna get rid of it. Spec Ops Vector SMG, some people would kill me for salvaging that, but the repair cost is high. Mm, I'm going to unload you and salvage you. I'm not... Oh, I really want to repair the prepper, don't I? But I don't want to spend all these parts that I don't have. I am going to repair you anyway, because you're a really good gun. And... Keep the two crossbows. Okay, that's fine. But I I wanted to do that so I could take care take this mod off because that's an ongoing fuel cost, which I'd rather not pay. We need computer knowledge to uh, upgrade our command center further, not to mention power. 
Oh, yeah, Bell gets infected, huh? Do you really want to go out there, Bell? It could be dangerous. Oh, I'm sure you laugh at the very idea of danger. Okay, then. I will, however, give you an energy drink and a painkiller just in case this turns south. It increased this patch and you scrap most of the other stuff as well. Yeah, that's quite nice. I needed those parts though, and that mod helped me get more. Hmm? Someone here? Shows there being a zombie here, but I don't see a zombie here. Maybe it fell through the ground. Let's see. What was that? Barrel, pretty nasty one at that, but I don't want to waste the ammo or risk it, so let's uh, head on over to our mission. Barrel in my no spawn zone, not very nice. Oh god, I almost opened my door on you, but that was a bloater. Bloaters are pretty good anti car zombies, honestly. I find them quite well balanced in that regard. Uh, okay, a few bad things about this. Oh, there's another play cart here. I wonder if you're also blocking my advancement to the brewery. Right. I think we can be quite certain this will be a pain. But fortunately, since I drove around, the zombies largely lost sight of me. Keep giving them the run around. Was that a mole bit of cattle in there? Starting on this right now. All right. We're armed and ready. But let's hope it doesn't come to blows. Huh. Always losing T Dog supply. I don't know why T Dog trusted him. Where's the good stuff? It's over in the favela neighborhood. This is good stuff. Ooh, portable generator. Now that could actually give me a level 3 outpost, but it would have an ongoing power cost. I would also need knowledge of computers, which I don't have. I am super glad to find this. Hello, hello. Search the massive red barn for some strong painkillers, as if Belkhead isn't hyped up on painkillers enough. Survivors left town. Von Dougal found some fuel, I bet, uh... Hold on, survivors left town? Who were the survivors? Who, who, what group was that? I don't recall there being a group called survivors, but sure, okay. Anyway, good job, Mandoogles. These will do some real good. Okay, there's still something else to loot here. Somewhere. There it is. Probably another backpack. Actually, if it's in one of these, it probably isn't a rucksack. It would be a toolkit, maybe. It would be nice. I have to say, as a YouTube scrub, catching Jake live gets me much more invested in the characters. Yeah, because you don't know, and I don't know, if they're going to live or die. And I don't want to jinx it, but I'm pretty good at this game. I like to think I can keep most characters alive under any circumstance, but usually when I say that, they die. Usually to uh, a real noob trap as well. Uh-oh. Come on! Come on, Belt. Do I want to get in the car? Not really, but I'm going in the car. Back up, Belt. Oh, there'd be fuel in those, uh, in those. I do want that. There's a few things I want. There's a feral after me, isn't there? I think it's just a regular feral. Right, screw it, that fuel will still be there when I come back for it in the future. Splat. I kind of lost my bearings. Okay, I wanted to take out that infestation, but I did not. 
Let's get the stuff back to base, let Bellcat rest up, and switch out for someone else. Um, Darko, hopefully, our other powerhouse can start making his way on those play cards. I suppose one thing all these infestations do is they really stop you from just mulching with every play card in sight. Hold on, apparently Darko has concerns about me bringing these drugs back. What's your problem, Darko? I don't know how I feel about having drug dealers staying here. I don't know how I feel about living in a square. How about we both forget the past and look ahead? What is he like? Alright. Pretty good supply run. And the extra materials can be used for... Is seriously infected. Hmm, generates one material per day, lets us craft fuel bombs, but only if it has power, and I don't really want to give it power for that. Um, yeah, I could upgrade the corn farm. Oh, not without gardening. Then I'm probably going to keep those materials for our base move, and I'll store them in my dying other car. Uh-oh. Ah, crap. Um, I probably need to take care of those juggernauts before they take care of us. Although they are down the hill a bit, aren't they? Where are the juggernauts? I'm supposedly looking right at them. Stealth juggernauts, not to be trusted. Is plus one materials without power? Really? If I upgrade it, it gives with power generates one materials per day. Uh, I don't trust that, and I don't, uh, I don't feel the need for it, so I'm not going to bother with it. Anyway, Bellcat, check in. Darko, check out. Darko has got that mm mm Soviet PPSH. <clears throat> it has no room for a mod, but I think. Well, maybe it just can't accept mods, not everything can. Trade your big old shovel for the beetle mallet off of Bellcat, and let's get to work. Yeah, it wouldn't repay itself for the move, that much is true. Although you get all your goods back for dismantling things, I think. I'm pretty sure it's 100%. Right, give that. There's your goodie. Wait, I, I think I did that the wrong way around. There we go. Now Darko has the beetle mallet, which we love, and he's going to get to work. Yeesh, still plenty of infestations, but three play cards to go. We're going for this one next. One, two, three. Now, how do you feel about all this, Darko? I think you feel pretty stimulated. And I'm going to give you painkillers as well. Three of them. That's all my painkillers. Normally I have so many more painkillers. What's going on with this run? Uh, I'm going to give you one of these as a get out of jail free card. And I think I'll give you a suppressed weapon just in case things go rough. Obvious 911. No, I'll give you the M17 suppressed. There we go. Decent. Good loadout. You might think functionally it's not much different from uh, the lambasting I do on people that go into lethal mode fresh with loads of supplies, but I quite like this. Ooh, I do not like my lack of toolkits. I mean, I had to work for what we have. I think that's the key difference in this run. Also delayed the start, which also made us weaker, which I rather liked. Okay, I do not like the state of this vehicle, and I have nothing to repair it with, so it really can't afford to get blown up on the way out here, especially since I'll be so far from any... Uh... Ooh, spare parts dealer! I... God, let's let's go for that. They might have... Um... They might have toolkits. I can't say that for certain, but it would be nice if they did. I wanted to do the supply drop, but I keep forgetting. Spare parts dealer... It might be that they just sell tons of parts, which I would not want to pay big influence money for. 
<clears throat> but we'll see what they do now. It would also be a real tragedy if they died here. Oh, what? Paul, uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to talk to him in time. For me. Paul, no. I got to steer clear of those plates. Jesus. Move it. Sasquatch, but uh, I couldn't have exactly planned for that. Paul, oh, I've only got a minute to still trade with you. Are you still going out there? Traders are usually pretty well armed. But he is on an infestation. There's your infestation. Please, Paul, I need to trade. I think those were, uh... I think there's more ferals coming in. I couldn't quite tell. Good thing stimulants last forever. They don't, but they last a long time. You doing alright in there, Paul? He's not doing alright in there. I'm sure he's gonna survive. But if he doesn't, I'm at least going to take his stuff. This needs to have paid off a bit. I used a stimulant and two painkillers, and I almost got infected for that. And an infestation horde was on the move, but where? Can't really see. He got up. He didn't die there. I know a dying survivor when I hear and see one. Looks picked over pretty good. You can do it, Paul. And by do it, I mean God, he got back up again. Ain't no stopping. So I think he died. I hope he died. And I hope I torched his body. That was my brilliant plan there. If I couldn't trade with him, he would trade his life. Although that might be him. Go, a massive fat man in a white suit curb stomping your head into jelly. Right, where are you at, Paul? I oh, don't tell me he actually survived and got out. That's not what I wanted. I don't think he did. 
But I'm not seeing his corpse for looting. Looks clear. Damn, maybe he did uh, get up and out. Ugh, in which case that was even further of a waste. I'll, I'll I'll pick the place over though, just to be sure. Hey, a bit of luck for once. I did see a few more noise things after I lobbed the Molotov. I assume those were some zombies making noise, but it might have been him. On his way out. I just thought he would have been shooting his way out, and then it would have been a bit clearer. But I think... Ah, there we go! I think it was the guy that curb stomped on the way out, and there's his body. Right, what did our trader have on him? A scar H. Mmm. Not a lot of bullets left on you, but a fantastic find. Encyclopedia for selling, a nightstick for beating. Yeah, this is good. That is good. I know a guy who uh, says a scar is one of his favorite weapons. Shame this one's a little damaged, but that's nothing we can't fix. Mm, I can reload with those bullets pretty much right now, can't I? More mags after this. Kind of a befitting weapon for a guy dressed like you. I like it. Combat knife. Uh, you wanted a rescue knife, probably, so you can keep that. Right, I took way too much damage there to continue on for another play cart. But I could just slither back to the value wagon and switch out a character, so I probably will. Just me deposit these goods as well. Oh, there's more to be had here, but I'm full on loot, so I'll abstain. Who is that on a car? Get off. Oh, oh, that's a multi jug. <coughs> Excuse me, yeah, I'm not, not in the mood for dealing with multi jug right now. The engine starts already smoking so badly, it always makes me anxious for every pebble on the road. Bless you. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Your car just giving up on you is a dangerous proposition. Uh, I don't know, take a, take a saw blade or something. And let's, as soon as we can, get you switched out for... I mean, I wish I could use Bellcat since she's a powerhouse. Oh, she also is going to become a sharpshooter. Anybody else full up on something? No. Oh, Von Dougal's is a powerhouse. Right then, you're coming. Get down. Make sure that Fat Man is being de-infected. Grab yourself a the Beetle Mallet. One of these better backpacks, grab the stuff out of the car and get going on those play carts because boy am I needing to deal with these play carts. Golly, do I wish I had a toolkit. Did I check with Zingus in the past 24 hours if he had a toolkit? Might not be a bad idea to do so. In fact, I'm sure Zingus would buy some of this stuff. He'll buy my chocolate treats and my encyclopedia and my seven slot backpack. I hate to come across needy, but if you're listening, 
I could use some help. Uh, yeah. I mean, you are really close by, aren't you? I could do that. I'm happy to do it. But I'm gonna go and check with Zengus as well. Me and Big Hank here have it covered. Hmm. On the plus side, if these survivors all die, I can uh, loot their and their the home here. So, what do you need, friend? Cool. Sounds good. Uh, no, you got nothing of value. Take my road flares. I don't want to sell them that cheap, actually. Take that, take that, take that. And... Goodness, I wish I had more bandages. I think one of the things is I tend to have a lot more painkillers on dark side because I pop open rucksacks more often there. Because unlike in regular mode, rucksacks aren't completely uh, useless for popping open. You found any games interesting at the Summer Games event last night? I was not aware of any Summer Games event last night. So no. All right, let's go, Dejro. One Molotov for just in cases. Uh, one bit of stimulants, and God, I'm running out of painkillers. Take a bandage then, just in case. That's that's some low tier healing on bandage. It heals a lot, but very slowly. Any difference between the close combat weapons? Some of the animations are a little different, but not really. You still kill someone in one hit, or are reduced to swinging it fairly uselessly if you uh, have nothing else on you. I need some help. Do you really? I mean, I just cleaned this place out. Oh, right. We need to keep you alive against an onslaught. That's okay. I'll keep you safe back here. Don't you worry, girly. You just keep yourself safe up front. Von Dougals can take him all day, every day. Hmm, that was a strange lag spike. I'm sure she's safe on the inside there. I'm just doing my job to keep the backside safe. This mission just keeps spawning zombies until uh, the timer runs out, and then you just need to make sure they're all cleared out. I just hope there are no ferals in there. I mean, it doesn't sound fun in there, does it? And it certainly sounds like there's a feral in there. You know, I can actively hear and see the feral. Come on, Big Hank. Oh, Big Hank wants nothing to do with it. How did I miss? not put for taking you out with a lever action. Oh boy. Bye bye door. Get off of my oh god. Well Kayla, you doing alright in there? I mean, I'm doing my part. Don't you worry about that. I had to use my stimulants and my bandage to get out of that situation. Oh, well, uh... Well, you're not, you're not the last, uh... Not the last corpse I'm going to enjoy just, uh... Stealing from in here. Stop, rock and roll. I suppose in a way this is the house that just keeps on giving for me. Oh, there's quite a lot of them. Come on now. Jesus.
Remember me saying that I wanted to keep this mallet for flake hearts? time that I should be spending taking out play cards. I hope she at least drops some stuff worth my time. Why am I still hearing loads of zombies? Oh. Von Dougals doesn't have a melee weapon, a uh, close combat melee weapon. I really need to fix that. Makes the takedowns awfully buggy. Where's that corpse? Where's that corpse? Good job surviving that, Jake. Well, I certainly survived that. But I did actually want poor What's-Her-Face to survive as well. Kelly 2.0. Sometimes it gives the prompts for the corpses, and that's because it bugs out a bit when I don't have a close combat weapon. I need to get one. Is that you? Kind of looks like it would be you. Where's our, where's our corpse? Come on. I want my goodies. Maybe I killed her in close combat, and it's not properly registering. But I thought for sure I burnt her to a crisp with a Molotov. Hmm. It also sometimes just takes a while to register when survivors like that go. Do you always stop your car hood against a wall? I try to because that stops zombies from piling on the front when you're trying to escape and that's where they do the most damage every time you get chased by a horde it wastes valuable seconds to back up and turn around yeah that's worth it though, better than them jumping onto the front okay uh... it seems that that survivor disappeared into the ether uh, but again I'm almost dead here, jings not good, not good for me This time I'll actually remember to get Von Dougal some kind of close combat weapon. At least the time that's passing is night time, which is hostile to us because it's hard to see. And maybe this time I'll remember to do my supply drop. We don't know what the supplies will be, but I'm hoping they're good and I'm hoping they're very close by because you have to run out and get them. Those unarmed takedowns seem buggy in more ways than one. Yep, no kidding. You can actually exploit it by constantly tapping takedown on them and it will uh, train your wits every single time. Which, of course, we're not going to do. Uh, close combat weapon, there you go. Here's a combat knife. Now it's not going to be buggy for you. Put that away. Enjoy having a drive shift club. And enjoy having some medical attention. Get out, Bellcat. It's Von, Von Dougal's time to shine. In fact, Bellcat, you're another heavy hitter. Get back out there. You're barely infected, so you're fine. We're just playing past the parcel with this beetle mallet, but it is that good. And... There's my suppressed M17 sidearm. And my emergency... That's stimulants. That's a lot of stuff. And my emergency fire. Well, I swear I had more fire than that before. Did uh, Von Dougal really cast aside all their stuff? 
take some weak painkillers as well. Weak painkillers far less useful if you're getting ravaged by a feral. Oh, hey there. Darko's fine. Hey there. Von Dougal's is fine. Wow. Guess I just had fewer stuff than I thought. Okay, for once, let's actually do it. I want my quick supply drop. I'm not using these other ones, these are like pay to win crap. Could you guys deliver me some supplies? Oh, and they did so very nearby. So this is oh, one of the things that's... Which weird ones, I'm sure we're fine. This is one of the things that's really great to get out of an enclave. You can just keep tapping them for supplies like this. And hey, it's good stuff. Fuel, healing, and uh, 556 ma uh, ammo. Certainly worth its weight in the influence, because I could just sell the painkillers and make it back. So in terms of getting your economy up and operational, enclaves that give you anything to help with your economy are just really good like that. In fact, I'm going to ditch my weak painkillers and keep one of these bandages. Hold on, you can salvage a bandage? You can get parts out of a bat. Oh, I didn't mean to. Ex Wait, I'm pretty sure I didn't accept that. No, no, I thought cancel was on the right. Okay, never you mind. Let's let's get plague hearting. You can get screws from pieces of cloth. Makes sense precisely. Right, now I'm still fearing for this poor vehicle. But the Vagabond has kept, uh, kept us good for a long time, and we've not really found other vehicles, have we? We found this, Ramesses. We found another Ramesses by the fire department right here, but we haven't really found other vehicles, have we? I abandoned Maragra there, with a drizzle of fuel in it. Okay. The Mysterious Wandering Trader is miles away. I might, I would have considered going and trying to get the Mysterious Wonder Trader killed... But I didn't end up doing, it did not end up doing that. Alright, Bellcat, let's go. We can do better than that. Alright, Bellcat, let's send them to hell, cat. I should have taken more energy drinks or something. I don't want to toy with Bellcat's life like this. But of, of the characters, she is one of the more disposable ones. Oh, there's no door on this uh, driver's side of the car. Ugh. Well, I really hope I find more toolkits. Keeping your vehicles functioning is truly your lifeblood in this game. Because just look at the distance you have to... Oh, jeez! Uh, they just spawned right in front of me, and that was some damage to the car that I would have preferred not to take. Uh-oh. Get off of me! Whew! Wait a second, uh, something weird happened there. There's plenty of weird stuff happening right now, but... There were some survivors in here. That's actually good. It'll help me loot here. There were survivors here, right? they found could be good for us. Let's see how they feel about sharing. Well, they, they can share. Maybe they found the plague heart that I destroyed here. Anyway, they can keep, us, keep me safe here for a while whilst I pack you open. Painkillers, good backpack, eh, crummy-ish weapon, plague samples, crowbar, snackables. Honestly, it wasn't that great. I shouldn't have emptied it. Would have been better to keep myself lean. At least it wasn't full of spiders. <laughs> what, you don't like spiders, Belcat? What's wrong with spiders? Oh my god, what's wrong with my friends? My newfound friends. Can I secure this area? I think I could. And it might not be a bad idea to keep a safe area near where my base is planning on being set up! You! Oh yeah! I'm running at bolt action. Your problem, not mine. Oh boy. I 
really want to secure this place. I don't think it's play carted. Oh no, it is claimed by play carted. It just didn't show me that because I didn't have space for it, for it anyway. But maybe when I take out that play cart, I could take this. And whilst the, the fuel isn't worth the two food, the safe area is worth it. Friends, are you going to deal with that? I don't want to have to. I can't catch my breath. Okay, wasn't that fun. Man, Juma can be a real hard ass. Take what we want, go home. Up for trade, eh? Yeah, sure. Ooh, not sure it's worth paying for food at this point, especially that rate. Actually, do you want to take my rubbish off of me? Uh, don't want to sell a lot of this, but I'll sell that. Ooh, salvage for seventeen. Hmm. This place might really be worth having as a, a little basey place then. All right, what's the story? You look like you'd use a hand to cut me in and I'll help you loot the next place. <laughs> and Listen, get stuff over. I won't forget what you did for me. Oh, he sounds grateful. He also sounded sarcastic. Uh, I got I got too much stuff here. Could you lighten my load here nicely, please? Should probably keep those snacks on me in case things get a little too hairy for for my liking. They seem to handle themselves all right. I'm about my car being in pieces, right? My spider senses are tingling. There's a toolkit inside the back of this car. Ah, oh, no, no, it's just crap. Ooh, almost a little too much crap. Definitely keeping the shovel, but uh, that note is just only good for selling. Let's have a good look around this place. All right. Fortunately, the place they're going to loot is a place I've already cleared out, so it is safe, or it should be safe, unless this mission spawns more enemies. I'm not sure my friends are going to make it. I'm not sure I'm going to make it if I follow my friends. Just being reasonable here. Is there, is there, is there a good reason why I should help them? Barrel there, but it's not a blood barrel. <laughs> Don't go towards me. How about you Kind of funny that they can bump into each other and stop their own run like that. Make sure at least one of the looters survives. Mm. He's going. He's going. Yeah, yeah. Oh dear. Not those guys I just met. So everything I said they were wrong. This, the area was not safe. Outside of the no-spawn zone were uh, nasty things. And I really don't want to tangle with them. Not alone. If I unloaded every bullet and everything I had, I would not have taken them down. And that's assuming they would have just let me do that. I do wish I had something to distract them, just to throw some fireworks over there to to get them away. I'm gonna carefully work my way around and take their goods, because they did have guns and stuff. Well, they had guns, God knows what else they had. 
One of them, I think, was ripped in half. One of them was pounded into jelly. And one of them should still have a corpse back at the fire station, which I need to grab. So for the third time, this area is potentially providing me with... Oh, crap, there's a feral here. Why am I wandering so blindly into a place that I know has a feral? Easy there, tons of gun. Don't hit my car. Oh god, what are you all doing here? Little animations like that, those change slightly depending on your close combat weapon, but not by much. Are they coming over here? One step at a time. I know there are corpses here. Empty. Let's hope the next place is better. Hey, I could claim this actually. How much is it to claim this though? Just did three hundred each, and I think I'd rather have the fire that station. Heart means there's no real security here. Mm. She's not wrong. Clearing out the plague heart and grabbing this as a safety area would be a great step forward, but I'm getting greedy here. I know there's a corpse, and I do want to loot the corpse. Yeah, this is sounding a lot more like the long dark with every passing day. Someone died here. They just don't always show up so easily. It's also possible they re-rose up and joined the dead, but... Then I'm sure we would have gotten killed. Wait, they, they wanted me to clear out this place that I'm currently in. Huh, okay. Come over here, will you? I've got two soldiers stranded at the hey, Golden Brick Bungalow. I've got a job for you. Yeah, sure. Where's the Golden Brick Bungalow? Oh, you're kidding me. <laughs> Nothing ever goes well in there. Why is every mission to do with that place? The freaking murder house. I hope the juggernauts have moved on. You can't let me die this way! Help's almost there. Hang on. It is? Okay, well at least Ren Talon are usually pretty good at defending themselves. But uh Okay, good, they didn't destroy my poor home. Alright, hello murder home. Are you all okay? Hey, that corpse of the girl I was looking for! Why, thank you. RTX Rampart, very good backpack, extermination blades, trade goods. Oh, jeez, get off of me. Forgive me for thinking you would have defended me there. Let's make a deal here. Sure. See, Red Talon use excellent weapons. Be quiet for a minute. Okay. Wanna make a trade? Sounds fine. Mm, they got nice bullets. I like that extermination blade though. Quiet, fast. This is great for Layton. Take my K bar. That rampart is probably oh it's a magnum as well. I don't want to I want to keep a hold of that. Oh, but it's damaged. I don't I probably don't want to fix that. I'll just take the bullets out and sell it back to you. Nice backpack. Uh, I kind of want your fuel. I've been running a touch low on that. I'm not sure if I want your ammo, though. I've got plenty of ammo. I do want the uh, the murder house friend's uh, bodies, though. Too loud. 
Danger now. Police knife, metal nightstick. I mean, there's some good stuff here. I, I need to, I need to get it home. Where's the other body? Where was the other body pounded into jelly? It would have been around here somewhere. There's a juggernaut nearby. Yeah, these, are, <laughs> these Red Talon guys would have some good stuff if I let a juggernaut just tear them apart. Alright, what's the story? The loss of IFT is tragic. Something. Could have been a lot worse. On behalf of Red Talon, here's a token. Yeah, okay. What have you got for us? Sure. Uh... Even be able to join us someday. Ooh, C4 charges. Or a C4 charge. Okay. Would have been more useful for me if these people had died, but oh well. Right. Decent loot off of all these dead people. I need to make it matter by getting it safely back. Yeesh. Don't really have space for getting stuff back. Right. In that case, I will drive back, deposit what I can uh, right here. Drive back, grab what I can, and then for reals, I'm taking on that plague heart. Uh oh, only one left. Oh no, I'm catching you live, but I missed 3.5 hours. Yeah, uh, that's how it goes sometimes. Oh, the torn flesh on Darko is healed. I mean, it's hard to think that would be an issue for him. There's a lot more flesh to tear off. Feral. Of course I did, because it's right there. I know you heard that, Feral. Come get some. So close, and yet so far. Right, much to deposit. What's this? I'll just deposit everything so I can get everything uh, cleared away faster. So much item management to be doing, but it feels good to actually get a decent amount of loot. Remember how hard we used to work just to get, well, anything. I can put away the fuel. I've got plenty of fuel in the, in the vehicle right now. Uh, never get too cocky, though. Keep healing on you. Grab the corpses worth of goods. Although I did also spot you there. It's something. Yeah, it is something. There's also the fact that this place, I haven't looted it yet. Good for meds, so I don't see why I shouldn't. Three hours of Jake watching people die in the same house. Hey, those last batch survived. In no small part due to my help. Actually, in a fairly small part They've due to my help. I didn't no do much. Zombies. And now the zombies are coming. Wonderful. Oh, right, yeah. I've still got a backpack on, don't I? Oh, look. I found a thing. That, that does sound like something Bellcat would say. I've checked everything. Got Ooh, bottom. an Xbox! Alright, I might actually uh, push forward the idea of having a lounge because evidently we struggle on morale a bit. Especially since we have an unclogged toilet. Well, we don't even have a toilet anymore. I might get rid of the workshop actually in favour of putting the toilet back in just to get happiness up a bit. No, no, no. Jesus, that was bad. I tried to hit E for the uh, the trunk, but I hit E as in enter the vehicle, and that could have killed Belle if I, if I hadn't healed her up. Whew. Good thing I'm so good. Uh, that there was nothing to do with blindness. I saw the bloater there from a mile away. It was because I wanted to open trunk and instead rid. Uh, why is this even in the car? It's meant to be in the the other thing. In the deposit all my goods here thing. Right, there we go. Take this stuff, including the Xbox, is really good. It does need power, but I'm sure we'll get on that in due time. Uh, use a bandage to 
heal up all that horrible inflammation stuff. Take a bottle of painkillers. And for the love of God, can we take care of that plague heart, please? Plague heart means I can take this, which means I will probably abandon... Hmm. Probably abandon the tartan mart here. Because it doesn't really serve any purpose. It, it's kind of jammed between these. I just took it so I'd have more food available. But at this point, I'd rather have a strategically placed... Um, outpost, and that is quite strategically placed to keep us safe. Ish. Oh, actually, Shady Old Barn is even better. Unfortunately, it's got loads of threats around it, so I can't take that. But I would certainly take you. can learn mechanics here as well. Hmm, I'm not actually sure if that's any use, but I, I will still take it. Right, let's go, shall we? Did I grab all the dead body stuff? I don't feel like I did. Also, I don't think this is where all the dead bodies were. This thing is heavy. It isn't, and there's a screamer right behind me. Not just a screamer! Wasn't easy with the thing in the way there, but got you. I want my C4 and I want my dead body. I can't keep doing this. <laughs> That's funny. I know she's saying that because she's tired, but it it makes her just sound more like uh, life ain't worth living. But who are you trying to convince, Belle? All that or nothing here. Did I completely empty the corpse in here, though? I guess I did. I'm just grabbing it so that it's secure again, because heavens knows we might get another mission taking us back to Golden Brick Bungalow. Police knife, smoke grenade. I've never found a good use for smoke grenades. Oh, here's the other corpse. Well, that was fortuitous. Coffee, tactahawk, rusty screwdriver, small backpack. Not bad. I wish I could zoom on this gun, but that will do just nicely. Hmm, not as suppressed as I'd hoped. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised at how well the animation works on a slope with that. You would you would think it would bug out to uh, to beyond. Let's go, Bell. Yeah, it doesn't, doesn't help that everyone's depressed and there's so many infestations. That's why I wanted to get my toilet, but we'll get the lounge. We'll get the lounge when we move, and I swear we're moving today. Oh, I do not like how injured she is, but come on, Belle. Actually, don't I have a first aid kit? There's your get out of jail free card right there. If things get really bad, use the first aid kit. It'll heal um, quite a lot of damage, actually. But not just damage, it deals, it deals with injuries. See how my maximum health and my stamina are down? That's because of smoke inhalation and gouges and God knows what else. Look at that. Torn flesh, deep gouges, infected bite, gas inhalation. All that is causing maximum hit point damage. Which can only be restored by first aid kits or by uh, your infirmary. You don't you dare scream. Alright. This time, that plague heart dies. I haven't even gotten to the plague heart. It, it, it doesn't know what the problem is. Oh, hey, hey, Duff. <laughs> it's his house now. This place cleared out sooner or later anyway. I want the... Uh, what do I want? What do I want? I want to have my car far enough away to actually have to run away to get to it. So I'm going to park it here. I think that collision, even though running into things doesn't usually do much damage, I think it actually did some terrible damage to it. 
Oh, oh Christ. Right, give it a love tap. That'll make it do its explosion. Attracting every zombie in the radius here. But I try to not use my... Um, try not to use my energy drink until it's time to do some real damage to it. I can't approach it right now because it's... Um, it's emitting a lot of nasty gas stuff. So go, go and do the rounds, Bell. Now, jump over this. Get down a bit. You actually regain stamina faster when crouched for some reason. And now... It's time to give it what's for. Alright, how about... Whoa, you just ran over that zombie. Wait, is it doing another... Wow! Bellcat does some pretty criminal damage. At least now I can run with borderline impunity because I've got some uh, Red Bull flowing through my Brazilian veins. I am not Brazilian. Bellcat is. Let's, let's get that quite clear. I am not BR. I will likely never be BR. But, you know, let's not rule anything out. Right, it's still got its nasty smog going on. First aid kit will not help with infection, it just helps with injuries. Is it dissipated? Looks kind of dissipated. Come to BR! Never! My cousin went to BR, she hated it. She did not recommend. Oh god! Abort, abort, abort. Abort! Bell... Okay. I don't think we dare to try again with Belle. She could die, but this car is also not going to survive much longer. I need to talk it unbelievably badly or else this car is gone. Just plain gone. Right, I have an idea. It's a little expensive on influence, but it's still an idea. And it's going to make this car not too vital. Still important, but not too vital. Not a great idea, but I'll do it anyway. I'm going to casually park here. I'm going to abandon... Yeah, Tartan Mart Outpost 3. Tartar Mart Outpost 3, Abandon. Okay. Keep it real. It's been abandoned, and I'm going to take this place instead. And that's going to give me a safe-ish area here. And this actually allows me to... Drop Bell stuff, and then drop Bell. Yeah, drop the stuff. And we're going to let Darko take over. Whew, I already did the supply drop. I got some decent stuff out of it. No rucksacks, though. All right. I'm off to see the medic. Jeez. Bell's not looking too hot. Right, tons of fun. He's got his Soviet gun. He's going to get the suppressed gun as well. The 1911. We both run on 9 mils. Let's keep them topped up. I really think that's a befitting gun for him. And let's make sure that he's good to go with a stimulant. And I'm really low on healing. Um, 
one bandage and one molotov for just in cases. And I'm leaving the car here. Because that car is going to go. I'm, I'm really hoping that there's a toolbox inside the heart because I am out of toolboxes. Enclaves have new items to sell. There's a good chance that they, they do. So I'm going to do the full rounds after this. Unfortunately, that's going to impact on my food consumption. But I will actually gain fuel, one per day. It's not a lot, but uh, if you like fuel bombs as much as I do, and especially when I did Dark Side Drucker, then you might have a very positive opinion on getting daily fuel gain. It's kind of tempting just to leg it over there. I don't want to spend the entire day crouch walking with uh, tons of fun. It's only 150 meters. Any healthy person can do that in 30 seconds. Well, actually, who are we dealing with here? <laughs> Impressively, actually, I ran those guys. I don't trust that. Whoa, what are you doing? What are you doing? I kind of want to take you out. Cloud, okay? Wait, this is an automatic pistol? Whoops. Oh well. No one said we wouldn't be making mistakes here. Try and get tucked into a corner and get smacking. Uh oh. Uh oh. Not dead, is he? Certainly is now. I saw that max level. There's no time. This thing's gotta go. Oh god, get off of me! Did I not take the? I didn't take the the big gun, uh, the big weapon. I'm using this exceptionally slow thing instead. Whoops. Oh boy, that's a problem. Okay, I, I made multiple mistakes for poor Darko. And they're not getting much better. It was a bloater that just popped nearby, although I don't know how nearby. Oh, that's pretty nearby. Mm. You gotta be careful when they're running from you behind because they can they can do an animation that tackles you down, and if the animation starts, you can't get out of it. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Damn that bloater in his area of denial, but it seems to have passed. Let none stop you, Darko. You're your own man. Oh God. Yeah! Now keep going while you're high on whatever this stuff is. Oh boy, that was scary. Is he dead? He's not, is he? Ah, there's no time. Oh no! <laughs> you think? You think it might be the blood plague? Focused on that one screamer too much. That's okay though, I have a cure. Ooh. Is this I don't I don't think I gave him any of the tools I was meant to give him. I was meant to give him the suppressed pistol and I was meant to give him Oh no, it's got a handmade break on it. I just saw that it had a mod on it and assumed it was the good one. Right. Fortunately. Right, I do have one. Where's my cure? I thought I'd made backup cure. Hmm, well, fortunately I can still make it, right? Yeah, there we go. There we go, get yourself cured. And while we're at it, get yourself, uh... 
locked and loaded. Do you want to continue going out and killing? You don't have a lot of health. But can we even trade you with someone who can? Von Dougals is not badly injured, so Von Dougals can take over. Oh, is that a vector? We picked up a fair few guns, but he was using a PPK there. What do we have? We got your... No, uh, that's not yours. It's not your vector, it's an SP5K. That's a Spec Ops vector. And that's a scar. And I'm burning you here is my car. Right. I don't actually want this. I want the... Uh, I want the fire department. So I'm gonna say goodbye to you and say hello to the fire department. There's still stuff to loot inside the fire department and I'm still Found hoping... Still hoping for a toolkit around here. Where's the bit that you claim this place? There it is. Uh oh, uh oh, right. No more deadheads here. Oh, they actually took this? Uh oh. Well, I just took it back immediately. <laughs> that wasn't the only one though. Where's the where's the place that I clean this? God, that's grim. What was that noise? Oh, well, wasn't anything good. This one's cleared out. Better keep moving. This really isn't showing any safe area around it now, is it? Maybe because it got infected and needs more love? Yeah, it needs to be rechecked after that. That's a shame. And of course there are going to be zombies crawling all over the place because of the, in the horde and the screamer. Get off of me. Oh boy, oh boy, there's a fair few of them. Von Dougals. No, no, going upstairs is not the answer. Clearing them out is the answer. God, that's a lot of them. That stands to reason it was a horde, not a horde let. I don't know if they can get over this, actually. Seems a little high for a zombie. Fortunately, if they come piecemeal, I can stomp their faces piecemeal. No, oh, okay, maybe not. all this because I want to claim the fire station. Is that so, uh... Any friendly folks out there wanna come over and give me a hand? Is that so unreasonable? There's a fat ass here as well. Well, there was. Seems to have disappeared. Oh, no, there he is. So I need more area of denial, and, uh... I don't know if his blood bloat stuff attracts zombies or not. It definitely does in Dark Side. But I don't know if that's vanilla behavior. Part of me feels like it is not. I'm definitely using that bandage after everything Von Dougals went through. The, the timing of that horde was ridiculous. Kind of funny, though. Right. For the love of God, let's claim this place. There we go. It's a little excessive on what it cost, but it's ours now. And now I can get you. Where is that actual silence thing? That's what I want. I don't have hollow point rounds. And you're already almost full of 9 mils. But almost full isn't full, so let's lock and load. 
You never know when that nasty feral just really needs to be taken out in a pinch. Stimulants. Uh, I'm loath to take strong painkillers, so I won't. I'll take uh, weak painkillers and a get out of jail free card, Molotov. Actually, I shouldn't have done that because there's a lot of places still... Well, there are three places left to loot here. But look at how fast you loot when you've already claimed a place. Where are the other loot places here? Maybe they're both in the garage. Actually, there are places I've opened but not uh, emptied. Those don't tend to show up readily. Yep. That's a keeper. Hill press? That's really bad. I don't know why you would want to make uh, healing items in your infirmary. Just a waste of healing resources. Nail puller, halligan tool, blunt weapons, but not heavy weapons. I'm in the mood for heavy weapons. Ooh, big old bag of fuel, not bad. But no toolkits. My car is on its last legs and I need toolkits. That was not something I wanted to hear. Where's the jug? I don't know, but he's nearby. You already found toolkits tool kits in there? Yeah, I want another one. I think that's quite clear. Right, two more. Oh god, all three of these woke up when we took out this plague heart. And uh, I reckon a big siege is mounting for our home. That's kind of scary. I really want to move. But it's costly taking out these play carts. Hmm. Oh, um. Oh, right, that, that's Von Dougal's checking in. Um, maybe Von Dougal should check in, but do I have any other heavyweights? Bellcat's still getting treatment. I guess we don't have to be uh, powerhouses. I mean, Professor Layton could come out and help us. Funnily enough, he's the one I'd like to lose the most. His geek trivia is pretty useless. And he's already depressed a bit. Alright, that's that's what will happen then. Yeah, you're going to keep that fuel tank on you. Switch you out for late on. I think uh, carbon monoxide poisoning is the least of our character's concerns in this situation. He's still rocking that M1 something that he's had from the start. The AR-15, rather. I think AR-15, I think of that gun in Goldeneye. Uh, so much so that he could get a better backpack. And of course, stimulants, weak painkillers, get a jail free card. I want him to have the sword, but for dealing with hearts, beetle mallet is the way forward. And a silenced firearm. Sidearm, rather. <sighs> Not amazing, but. Pill press. Simplifies painkiller making. I guess that's for doing this, right? Yeah, that, that is not at all worth it. Painkillers for uh, for meds there? Mm, no, I'd be hard pressed to ever decide to do that. Fertilizer and games console, but I need a lounge, and a lounge is a large facility. Also, oh, I do not like losing my value wagon. Where's my value? Oh, it's there. Maybe I'll go and take out one of these and then... Oh yeah, my car. There's nothing left of my bleeding car. Right, I can't I can't take things out right now. I need to get a toolkit. And I need to... True gentleman stays loaded as much as possible. I need to work on getting a toolkit. And I want to save that outpost. Which means no to beetle mallet. But if I can give you that sword we found, where is it? There it is. Uh, it's late, and I, I don't mind giving him an emergency grenade. And an emergency bag of snacks. Now let's go, Leighton. It's quite important. First order of beeswax is the value wagon, then what's left of Zingus. And we'll just do a southern loop. You know, I forgot about loners. Really forgot about them. I should, uh, I should drop by. They're bound to have a toolkit. And make no mistake, I need that toolkit. Otherwise, I am walking everywhere. And we already know how slow everything goes. I think we've lost our daylight hours already. 
That will bring them running. Don't worry, Layton. We're prepared for this. Just realized I hadn't looted all of this good stuff around the back. It's not good stuff, it's largely parts, but you never know what you're going to find. We found a prepper weapon inside a caravan earlier. Except, no joke, this stuff is trash. There we go. How gentlemanly. With the press, make it one med instead of two. You know what? Why don't we find out? Oh, oh whoa. This isn't too bad. It's going to get the, uh, the horde away from my car. Is there any more loot to loot? Interestingly enough, if I take this from the side... Oh, I failed. I wanted to, um, to take them all out. Within the, uh, the Congo style, or the Conga style. Where you just keep, uh, stealth killing them from behind. Oh, poor Leighton's getting a bit, a bit tired here. Come on, Leighton. Thin the numbers. Take out the armored ones while they're down, because otherwise they are resistant to every attack. Splendidly handled, Leighton. That horde is no more. Actually, it's still right there, isn't it? And it's making a noise. I'm trying to break its way into our base, which won't be difficult. Not like I have the Not explosive thing here, set up here. Say. Although that would be an idea. Landmines around the uh, around the fire station would keep it pretty safe. Yeah, VLC media player, that's what they get for attacking me, though. God, they are fairly surrounding my car, I need that. I have an idea. Now that was a Leighton-esque solution. But the horde doesn't appear to be moving from here. Where am I actually going? Alright, I think I know. Oh, and I can see why. Right, I swear I need a toolkit so badly. <laughs> How about a fire extinguisher to... What? what? Uh, I, I don't have time to help you there, Sangerson. You don't sound so great, I'll give you that, but it's not like I'm doing terrific. Hey there, Zingus. Hey, nice to see you. Come on in. Hang out. No. Please tell me you have a toolkit. He's got a nice gun. Shall we do some business? Yeah, sure. Yeah, he's got apparently strong painkillers is something this guy that I'm I've got a mission with once. I will take that. I'll take your fuel. And I really don't want to buy those bandages, but I'm so low on healing. I'm still going to buy them, though. I'll take food, since I'm a little touchy on food. Mm, what a shame. Alright, ditch the food here, and I might go and help Sang Sorn. Two hundred meters that way. Would I rather run or not? I think I will run. There's some things I want to do along the way. Oh, but I do want to help that infestation. Hmm... It's okay, a true gentleman can get that done silently and without issue. Oh, thanks. 
Fortunately, bladed weapons tend to be quite quiet, so I can engage in a street like this and not have too many issues. Zingus is going to be so unhappy if I bring this horde back to him. Is that the Screamer? Looks like the Screamer. There we go. Soundly handled, no problem. Uh, I do want to check that, actually. Okay. So the pill press is in, if we wanted to make pills. Yeah, it halves that cost. You know, one med for loads of painkillers suddenly doesn't sound like a terrible trade. Maybe the pill press is better than I thought. But that's okay, it's not like I've done everything in this game. I know when you see me play this on lethal dark side no man's land, you think, wow. This is this man's a gaming god. He's God's gift to gaming. And whilst that is true, it doesn't mean I know everything about this game. I'm stomping on the zombie skull it reminds me of a puzzle, Luke. It's kind of a shame we don't have Luke Triton here. Right, what have we not found? We've actually surveyed everything here, okay. It was showing up as unfinished on my list of places to check. Are you going to fracture your disc if I jump down from here, Leighton? Probably is, isn't it? So I'll, I'll avoid that for now. I'm unsure if I want to take out this infestation as well, but I mean, I, there are so many infestations, I need to be doing something. There's a juggernaut in there. I suddenly don't want to do this. And there are two ferals. Yeah, you know what? That can that can wait for later. All right, the field is fairly clear. I'll take the field way over. As long as I take you out. A fairly clean rush over. So he's practically a traveling salesman problem, Leighton. You've got this one in the bag. And thanks to his skills, he's got plenty of stamina and low stamina consumption to get through this. Damn, the days are so short and the nights are so long. There we go. Nicely done, Leighton. Oh, she heard me, but it's okay. True gentleman ensures that she never screams. Interesting bug that sometimes happens, the bloater's sound effect can persist. Sometimes it can even lap on top of each other and then you get multi-disgusting forever bloater sounds. Right, so this guy over here, I've definitely felt better. he is not feeling so great. I'll give him these painkillers. Huge fucking thanks. Yeah, mind your language. You like got no idea how bad I need a place to live. Uh, that sounds like a you problem, Sangsorn. I am not looking for people. Fine, whatever. Later. That that almost wasn't worth the cost of buying those uh, those painkillers, but hey, we can feel good about what we did, right? I don't clean a play cart out of here. Apparently it's unlooted. I want to change that right now. And I want to get back to my car before nightfall. Here we go. He's low on health. He might not survive that trek. Might be another body for me to pillage. This should prove useful indeed. What was that? A bottle of conditioner? Inside a, uh, a barn? Clothes conditioner? Unique blend of active ingredients. Don't know if it's hair or clothes conditioner. Did, did my buddy make it out alive? Alright, well whatever. I want to get back to my car and I want to head down. And I want to use the path I cleared. Paths don't often stay cleared for you in this game, but... 
Did you hear me? You heard me. That jumping attack, I believe, is because of my acrobatic skill is latent. Yeah. Flying strike. It's it's not very good in my experience, but it's something. Alright, you know what? I'm picking up the pace. It's getting too dark for wasting time around here. Let sleeping bloaters lie, Layton. Can you calculate the shortest route needed to shank all the zombies without doubling back? Yeah, this puzzle is worth 50 picarats. Poor Zingus. He does not like where he lives. To be fair, four juggernauts came and tore through this place. I'm not sure what's fair about that. I'm gonna. Mm. I'm gonna sell them some of my junk, deposit the rest of the junk hey, into yo. one of my outposts. Shall we do some business? Cool. Bye bye conditioner. Bye bye box mine. I'm actually not a big fan of box mines. Although, how much do those salvage for? Only five. Weird that you can salvage so many things these days. Oh, that's right. This is no longer my safe spot, but this is. But that one's on route. So I'll just, I'll just drive down there. It'll be safe too. And I'm seriously hoping that one of these guys has a toolbox. I have been relying so heavily on my enclaves to supply me with toolboxes because we sure are not looting many, and we don't have many ways to get any. Take it. Put that in the back of my car. The rest of this stuff I'll keep on good old Layton. So, down to the Wandering Campers. They don't have a roof, but they got a big heart. They also have an infestation next to them, which is kind of tempting to use them to clear out. Until I realize the infestation has a juggernaut, and now I'm a little less keen on it. Let's do some talking first. It's alright. Layton can handle sword play with a uh, feral. I like the thing. Where'd all these other zombies come from? Wait. One of the better things you can do as an as a human player is take out the armored zombies, because otherwise the AIs waste a lot of time shooting them. One of the things these survivors wanted off of me was some plague cure. So I'm hoping they're nice and healthy. I don't know if that actually alleviates them of any of their plague. Why do I see a really good gun on the floor there? Oh, some of that was I think the the bloater or something came along from the the infestation. Is that a 50 cal? Holy crap, a timber wolf. Okay, now this is actually going to kill something. Hey, I have to. Shall we do some business? Sounds like a plan. Uh, they do not have what I was hoping for. However, I can keep myself fully locked and loaded. Got one of the stimulants, though. Maybe not fully, but a bit more. I've just loaded my last magazine. Uh, in my early experience, yes, but now I see that it's actually incredibly powerful. Oh God, they're heading to my outpost again. Didn't I just clear that? My car is in no state to deal with that. I, another one. Oh, diddy me. Well, goodbye my outposts. I should take them back soon. But as I may have mentioned, my car is on the fritz. Actually, before I, before I move, let's, let's make sure that, that gun is in the vehicle. That way, at least if Leighton dies and gets back up and wanders away, he doesn't take that very powerful gun with him. Can't even afford to run over anything here.
Not even that guy. As satisfying as it is to run over ferals. I might need to get on the phone and request another survivor group. And I will. I need other groups to trade with in the hopes that they have uh, toolboxes. Yeah, Jinx, the game does not give you time to react to those infestations. And another one was on the move as well, right? Oh, they're going for all of my outposts. Ah, oh, Jesus. He seems strangely hesitant to use his, um, his grenade launcher. I wonder what makes the AI decide to shoot or not shoot. Still no toolkits. Uh, do I want the arm? Do I want the ammo? Not really. <laughs> My poor vehicles. Shall we do some business? Why not? I suppose I could at least grind down some of my weapon remains. The expectation is you'll deal with the hearts to deal with the infestation. The mod makes it a bit harder. There are too many hearts, and they keep chain waking each other up. Like all of these hearts, even a heart down here is awake. Oh, there are the new guys that arrived. Oh, they're in a bad position. Should I go and say hi? No, because if my car breaks down on the way, that's me toast. What I will do is hope and pray that the loners have a, uh, a toolkit. And if they have one, I will then drive down to the, the new guys in town. But if I so much as scrape up against a zombie, this car is gone and we are doing everything on foot. It's not strictly true, there is a tiny, tiny bit of health left on the Ramesses. Not have much faith in that poor thing though. Can't even just ram my car into the wall here, I gotta gently stop it here. Toolkit, please. Shall we do some business? Sure. Uh, I got a first aid kit. I'm certainly taking that. Hmm? How you doing? Shall we do some business? Sure. That's kind of worth it for the. Oh, actually, no. It's a lot, of, a lot more expensive than it looks. Some business. Yeah. Mm, I take the fuel while I'm at it. But not the not the ammunition. Oh boy, this is a real pickle now. How do I get any toolkits? Nobody wants to trade me with toolkits. Well, nobody has toolkits for me. Mm-hmm. Maybe I just have to very gingerly go and take these out. I don't even have the large enough space on my base to be building one of those things that gives you toolkits. Or you can use like 200... Uh, you can use, I think, 200 parts to make a toolkit if you have the, uh, the... the car thing built on your base. That is indeed a freak. Hmm. Not very nice, Layton. Food, meds. Am I over on meds? I'm not. Take the meds, take the fuel. I'm going to give this gun to someone. Maybe Layton can put his feet up for a change. Right, actually, who... who oh! Uh, I wonder why. 
The boomer, what are you doing using that? Okay, that, yeah, that's the thing. Never leave your AIs with sidearms. You know what, Darko? You look pretty cool with that gun, but you'd look even cooler with this gun. This gun, right? That's gonna level something. Like a building. But it'll certainly help take out juggernauts. Oh, God, they've taken... I thought all of my outposts. But they didn't... Oh, he passed by this one. He just took all of my food outposts. That's a problem. Ugh, I need to go and take them back. Ooh, too many infestations, and people are going to be worried about food because now our consumption is everything. All right. Uh, does anybody need any hero standing? Yeah, actually, Ducare does. Well, Ducare, it's up to you to take all of those back, please. Leighton's going to put his feet up. And you're going to get to work. We still need to go and visit those other guys. Oh, yeah, how am I meant to do all this with no car? Well, that's for you to figure out. I love that gun you have, but it's very loud. Well, I guess we'll be using it as your emergency gun, and then we'll make you carry a suppressed M17, which I will keep in good working order, so I'm actually going to repair the thing. Heck, I'll repair that as well. I'm always terrified of pressing the salvage button instead of repair button. And if things go hairy out there, that's exactly what snacks are for. Take snacks and one bit of painkiller and get to work. It's your job to remove the infestations. Pretty much all of them. Starting with the ones that could uh, give us a siege. Actually, I should start with the ones that are denying me food because those things are costing me more. So I will take this route. If we get a siege, well, that's just something I'll have to peel back to base for. Kind of wish I was traveling lighter, but this is relatively light. You're a marathon runner, so running costs very little stamina, but it still does cost. Oh, it had to be night time when I got to do this. In and out, no mucking about. They're at least low-leveled uh, infestations. Oh, well, there goes a bloater already. Where's the screamer? Oh, they'll be inside but covered by that bloater pile. Uh, No, don't, don't do that. Jump over the fence. Alright, should have dissipated, so uh, screamer friend, wherever you are. I think that's him on the ground. No? Can I take those bullets? I think I grabbed them. Earl is no longer frustrated. I wasn't even aware you were frustrated to begin with. Now, I would quite like my base back. Maybe I should have brought more snacks. Right, Screamer, I think I see you. Down you go. Fat ass falls. He dropped some nice bullets, but uh, I'm not going to hang around for that. Need my food, need my food. You get off of me. Does the infestation mechanic mean that small outposts with big windows are the best? Uh, kind of. That means you can shoot in and take care of the annoying screamer with relative impunity. Yeah, the infestations are relentless. I know I use that word a lot, but it doesn't, doesn't make it any less correct here. Does it kind of have a zoom on it? It does, okay. If, if I have a hard time targeting the screamer, I can use my loud gun and just leg it.
Nice build to the Screamer. Yeah, it looks like drops vary quite a bit between the different freaks. The bloater seems to be largely dropping bullets for me. It's the Juggernaut who's got the good grace to drop a gun. Uh, the Screamer, the Ferals have dropped some gun mods for me. I think I've gotten a couple of decent silencers out of them, or suppressors rather. Alright, Screamer, we might not have much time, just see it, shoot it. somehow wander outside. Is that it there? It is. And there's you. What did you have the good grace to drop me? Oh, maybe maybe it doesn't matter. Maybe they don't count as uh, kills for you unless you take them out whilst they're still part of the... Whoa! Mock that shot up bad. But... Where'd it go? You get out of my face. There you are. Still mucked it up. There we go. His head doesn't glow conveniently like the Blood Plague Freak, but... At least he doesn't take multiple headshots like the Blood Plague Freak. A Zingus fighting for his life back there. Good lad. Leighton, his gouges are gone. I do quite like this infestation mechanic. It came with a heart attack update. It just it keeps you so busy. It would be less annoying if the game didn't already have a problem with constantly being berated by other survivors and missions and things. Which again wouldn't be so bad if they didn't time out and then cause lasting issues. Get out of here. What did the... What did the bloater of the good graces to drop me? Get down, stay down. The, the quick swing uh, instant kill, that is so good. But the other one is so bad. The one where you pretty much push it down on their throat when they're on the ground. Alright, where, where was Fatty Bombati? Oh, 762s. Now that is a good ammo type to find because they're very expensive to make. 0.22s are very cheap. So, in a lot of ways, it's good to have a gun that fires 22s. Two hmm. Well, wherever the. Oh, there he is. And those I can use for my obscenely large magazine weapon. I've just loaded my last magazine. Right, where am I heading to now? Should I go back up and around, or should I take out more of these infestations? I think I'll go up and around. So one and two and back. But these these guys are definitely still going to be putting out uh, infestations like mad. No, thank you. Easy now, easy. Hang on, didn't I? Uh oh. Uh oh! No more of that. That's why I have the full auto available. It is an option. Quite glad I kept a bag of snacks handy for that one. Right, in and out, no mucking about. Where is the screamer? And the bloater. No, he's falling to death anyway. But yeah, bloater didn't drop any goods, did he? Doesn't look like it. Keep that closed. Ah! <laughs> 
<laughs> it really doesn't feel like I'm... Uh oh. Okay, he's not a blood feral, so pop. I have had good long times of not having all these things spawn on me. Maybe, just maybe, you can get a toolkit out of an infestation. But I haven't seen that happen yet. I, in fact, I think I've only seen bullets out of bloaters. So I really want to take out the bloater first. But, uh, this torch is... Back. Well, there goes the bloater. Does that count as my kill? I think it did. The other time that happened, it counted as my kill. I can't believe it's been so long in this campaign, I'm still in the starter base. This uh, this mod ass adds a whole heap of play cards, and that is the main issue. Oh, he did drop bullets for me. And he dropped for me. There we go. It's a whole lot of infestation, no I longer my problem. Thank you, Docare. We still have some people to welcome to town with our no-health car, though. Weren't there allies in that house? Nope. You're thinking a bit further down the street. There we go. Stay on command. Right, that cleaned up the infestation situation a bit, at least close to our, ho our home. I'm wondering if I should uh, get rid of you and bring the toilet back in case people get angry again. Then I'll probably be overloaded on materials for a bit, but I don't like people getting unhappy and threatening to leave. And it's still taking a bit of time to do everything. Nah, the beetle mallet could still take a beating, couldn't it? Right. Damn, that, that's, that's my good uh, going on duty weapon. Oh, I think he fast reloaded it. Get yourself checked in and get a heavy hitter out there. Darko has a little bit of bruising. Von Dougals is good to go. Alright, Von Doogly Doogles. There's work to be done. And I'm starting to think that Big Hank is not the best weapon to be giving you. Slow fire rate, not great power to substitute. Why don't we give you something like... The Grease Gun fires pretty fast. It's an automatic weapon. Uh, I could even... I could put a brake on it. Grease Gun with a brake? I'd rather have a Scar with a brake, but the Scar is damaged. Oh, but I can repair it, can't I? Oosh, that's expensive, but it's worth it. Here's your scar, here's your break for the scar, and uh, it fires very expensive ammo that I don't want to load it with. But I bet it would annihilate the play carts. I have power on that thing. No, no, I need, I need to save the bullets for later. But it would really annihilate it. No, no, no. First off, take the beetle mallet. Second off, repair the beetle mallet. Take the silenced sidearm. And have the Soviet as your other weapon. And then if I can remember, I'll give you back the scar when we're back home safe and sound. Only four fuel. Ooh. And grab the painkillers, stimulants, and an emergency Molotov. Hey, I could try using C4 charge for change. I don't usually do that. I'm going to do that this time, though. If you have it, use it. In Villa, C4 is amazing on play carts. They're, they're pretty terrible in, in Dark Side, but not playing Dark Side. So, order of business. I'm going to go and welcome these guys to the, uh, to the club. And then I'm going to head back north and try to deal with some of these play carts because, man, the situation is a little grim. I wouldn't mind upgrading that fire department, though. Is that is that a possibility? It's quite cheap. Quite cheap. Mm. I'm on the fence about it, actually. Now yeah, screw it, do it. Good job, Delcat. Now it's just to care and we're good. 
No siege threat. We've only had one siege. They're awfully slow at doing their sieges. Now again, there's very little left of this car. I can't hit anything on the way to these other guys or else it's just gone. And uh, not to sound like a broken record, but we have no toolkits. And no real way of getting toolkits other than trading with our friends and none of them had them this session. Now, I could go to some dangerous places and loot for it, and uh, it's not out of the question. Looting for a toolkit, I mean. Oh, I can hear the pain in the engine. This is not a happy vehicle. Huh, interesting place to hold out. We're probably going to have to kill some zombies in order to survive here for a bit. And by we, I mean you. Oh, nice, they've got out automatic weapons. They should have a relatively easy time. Hey, Dax, Dax and Co. What's going on, hun? No toolkits. Uh, a shotgun, though. Heavens knows I've been lacking a shotgun for a while. So nice to see you. Glad you called. We'll be around if you want to trade and ask for help and yada yada yada. Hey nice to talk to you. So nice to see you. So, what do you need, friend? Of course. Hmm. That's almost worth it. The shotgun shells alone. And two twos are nice. I'll take the two twos. This is tempting if I did gardening, but I don't yet. Yeah, that, that shotgun is pretty much worth it for the. No, I'm not so sure about that actually. Mm, no, because as weapons go, it's fairly low tier. Right, I don't suppose I could find a, find a toolkit around here. I can't afford to have any zombies nearby when I'm getting in my car. Sort of have to do the zombie conga. Did you search the last heart you've killed? Oh, hold that thought. Did I? Did I? Did I? I can't remember. What was the last one I killed? I killed the one that has this severity 3, but I'm pretty sure I looted that. Um, there was one up here. I forget if I looted it or not. No, I didn't. I just shot it and ran. Alright, alright. Well, we're going to have to go up there and hope for the best. Yeah, I recall I'd taken a lot of swings at it. I turned back, I shot it a few times with our Soviet rifle. Oh, hey, uh, multi-jugs. Yeah, this would suck to break down here, so let's be gone. Sudden lag spike there. I think the game just loaded in a bunch of zombies for the play cart. It wouldn't be unthinkable to have a uh, source of toolkits around here. I'm driving so gingerly. Right, think about it this way. If we clear out the play carts, we can move to the next base. And in the next base, we could at least make something to. Uh, to build toolkits out of. I don't know if you need knowledge of cars to do that. If anybody can look that up, I'd be grateful. But in order to build the uh, vehicle area and to make toolkits, do you need knowledge of automobiles? Which is a, a skill that players uh, characters can have. Who's saying that? Listen, we can't handle this on our own. Come quick. 
who, who, who's telling me that? I'm a little busy right now. Ah, oh, crap. Okay, Christ, that was close. A, uh, a feral latched onto the side of my car, but I scraped him off on a wall. Right, who, who needs help? Some strange... Oh, the, uh, the, ga the cannibals. Help them before it's too late. What choice do I have? I have C4, but I think I'll also bring a... Uh, maybe multiple fuel bombs just to keep me relatively safe. Use them or lose them, after all. There they are. Oh, and of course, bye-bye to those. Uh, maybe another, maybe another painkiller in case this gets grim. Lucky that wasn't a strip of paint holding the front wing on. Aren't I just... Right, do I dare to just run across here or do I take the car? The car would be faster, but... I mean, what is the car if we don't drive it? Oh, it's out of fuel for one. Mm, there we go. I'm actually pretty good on fuel, which is nice. You could take the extra car here. It is not banged up as badly. You are right. Yep, the only thing it needs is fuel. Good point. We'll give it a touch of fuel and drive over in that. We can't get complacent. Maybe that's a pretty bad analogy, Twain. Right. Jesus. Carson, in a few ways, looks even worse. But let's go and save them from their zombie problems. Stay right where you are. Put down the zombie siege. I'm thinking about it. I'm just thinking about you know all the other stuff I need to do. And it's night time. More zombies even spawn at night time. It's not just feeling more dangerous. It is more dangerous. This car does not handle too well. It's really floaty. Driving in general in this game is quite floaty, but this car is particularly susceptible to the float. Right, what's your situation? Uh, are you under siege or not? Damn, I was hoping to pacify them with the door. What's going on? I swear they used to have better aim. Maybe the survivor AI got improved in Dead Space. We wouldn't have made it without you. Uh, I, I, okay, if they think I saved their life, then all the better. But they do not have. I'm not sure about this one. They got blood samples. See you soon. They seemed awfully friendly about that. Though I, I think they're, I think they're, they're playing a game with me. They're playing a really weird game with me. Still seem to be zombies pouring in though. No, maybe not pouring in. Seem to be backing off a bit. Yeah, good job, me. I feel really accomplished. Right. So over there, ish, there's a play cart. If it has a toolkit in it, then great. But if it has a toolkit, then I don't know which car to use it on because the vagabond breaks apart really easily. But I already have another Ramesses. Ditch that in there for now. Oh boy. That is a high level infestation, but... Don't worry about it right now. A little risky to crest like that without knowing what's above. Could have been a bloater or just a big fat pile of zombies to deal damage to the car. However you cut it, not great. 
Right, hopefully it's relatively quiet here. Did you actually die? Do I actually have a close combat weapon this time? Yeah, I do. Right, you all just stay down and stay quiet, alright? I'm trying to... Wait, why is there an infestation here immediately? I just got here. Well, it's gone now. Oh, he drops uh, painkillers. Hmm. Kinda handy. Still no toolkit. Oh, the fuel bomb is nice. Materials are nice. Sledgehammer is pretty good. Most of this stuff is pretty good for us right now. Don't want to investigate it too much at this point. Oh god, another screamer already. I gotta hand it to the world, it's quite deadly. None of that, friend. Get down. Hmm. This is an automatic one, isn't it? No, it's not. I hate to ask, but we could use a little help over here. Ugh. That's a horrific, um... Lily Ritter voice. Get rid of a bunch of this stuff. Um, I'll keep the snacks and fuel bomb, but this should be good for now. Who who wanted the Eno? Oh, they want fuel off of me. At least that's not too bad. I don't like them though, but I will I will do what these weirdos want, even though I don't particularly want to. Right. Uh, Little risky biscuits, but I got to gotta get to work on these hearts. Nighttime, daytime. There's no time like the present. Well, the bloater just popped over there to make my life a little bit worse. Perhaps I could park my car. Uh or, gee, I don't know, here. I mean, however you cut it, I'm about to make a lot of enemies. And I only brought one pack of stimulants, so I'm probably going to regret that soon. Right, give that a love tap, so it doesn't scream. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I think that was more than just one uh, feral. Can't tell, though. I think it might just be one, but it's hard to see it in this incredible darkness. There we go. Oof. Right, now let's give the other one a quick love tap, wherever it is. Give it a big one. And then I'm heading back to the other one. Just praying for no ferals. Going into its next phase already is a good sign. Man, these powerhouses really hit hard. No, don't! It's one of the worst things is uh, running up to a zombie and instead of instead of getting over the, uh, the fence... Well, you don't. Okay, I think that blew up a feral. I hope it did. It certainly did something. Where I got plague ferals after me. I can feel it. Come on, die! Die before I die, please. Uh. Ninjas can't catch you if you're on fire! an ancient meme, but I do like it. Alright, I gotta rely on snacks now. Oh, 
Come on. Health ain't looking good. A lot of my maximum health was sapped there. Okay, that's one. Please let me go! Is that another feral? I couldn't tell. It sounded like one though. There we go. Safe as freaking out houses. Where's the feral? The feral could still kill me. There he is. The bastard. Okay. Oh boy. Right, we're moving. We are moving. This is now securable, and I will take it and move. That was intense. Well played. Why, thanks. A new day is dawning. Good job, Von Dougals. Good job, Beetle Mallet. Love this weapon. I was so heartbroken when I lost it in one of my runs. Just taking out a heart. Somebody died with a beetle mallet on, and I don't think I ever got it back. Right, oh god, he ran his ammo short as well. He still had this, but uh, it's not silenced, so shooting it often just causes more problems than it solves. That shimmying through the whole swarm needs to be fixed in Sod 3. I don't think you should be able to do it if you have no stamina, but I think it should be possible if you do. I mean, imagine playing a game like, say, uh, Dead Rising, if you couldn't do that, James. You'd be just expending all of your resources just to move. Yeah, thanks. It's not difficult to kill a non-Blood Plague Feral that's coming at you, but you're still under pressure. And you do have to think that you got to make that shot fast, or the other zombies are going to have their way with you. I said I would move in here today. This has taken longer than expected. But I am moving in here and now. Low on maximum health. No healing. Got two fuel bombs, but those hurt me as well. You might have noticed uh, a lot of my health damage here is second degree burns. And again, there's also torn muscle. I can't blame that on the fire. I will need to bring my car back here, but the car is close. There's also a feral nearby. I hope it's not a blood plague feral. Kind of circling around me right now. I'm not willing to make any noise. That feral's gotta not be here because it could kill me. And if I'm if I don't have six survivors, I can't move in here. Six is in four, five, six. Oh, the bollocks, he is there. Is he coming this way though? I'm gonna put a pin in him so I've got an eye on him at all times. We've got these stills. We could. Uh oh, We're not alone here. Feral is almost definitely going to be hearing this. I don't think he's the only one. Oh, that's a horde and a half. Gotta get this place in the next five minutes. <laughs> Let's not add any more pressure onto poor Von Dougals, right? I don't think he's had a great time. That's not the expression of a man who's had a good day. Please just don't have zombies in here, right? I don't want to make any more noise. this one locked. 
down. Okay, let's take it over and move in. Where's the where's the place that we take it over from? Actually, I don't I don't know. Ah, it's here, right here. Splendid. All right, we're claiming it. Let's get in. Now defend this place with your lives, because it's going to be immediately under siege. Ah. All right, I need to decide what to do with this place, and quickly. Uh, I'm going to need a medical place in here. I would like to have a big lookout tower, but I can't do that right now, so I'm going to make do with a watchtower here. I'm going to keep Von Dougal's relatively safe indoors. Overflowing with materials, but that's okay. You can free them somewhat, uh, spend them somewhat freely. I do want a lounge. I'm probably going to get rid of this thing, although that action speed is kind of useful right now. Um, I want a workshop. I would actually quite like a fighting gym for the extra health boost, because we're in dangerous situations constantly. And I can always tear it apart later on as needs, needs come and go. I might actually... Do we not have access to water? We do have access to water, so I'm actually going to build a latrine to keep people happy. And... Yeah, I'm going to build a lounge. A lounge to keep people happy as well. You get extra build speed the moment you move in, so I want to put that to good use. Not enough beds. Not enough beds is not a problem. Sure, some people don't like it. But look at that, it's only minus seven for each person who doesn't have a bed. Far better to not waste time building the beds, but instead build other things that will overwrite that negative influence. And for me, that's a lounge. Not negative influence, but the, the bad feelings from lack of stuff. So, okay. Some of this is quite temporary, and god, do I want a... That is too close. Damn, I do need knowledge of auto mechanics. Do I have a book on auto mechanics? Is that a specific book skill? Textbook, Craftsman, Crafts, Construction, and Method. Damn, I don't have anyone that knows about auto thingamajiggers. Well, that is a shame. I haven't picked a, a leader yet, and perhaps I should. There is something to be said for building the giant watchtower with a builder leader, but the builder missions suck. Trader missions also suck, but uh, I forget what you go as a trade... What's your trader building? Trade depot. Hey, you know, if I had that, maybe I could summon someone to sell me, um, sell me, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, those. All right, who, who's a trader? Builder, warlord, warlord, builder. Whew, okay. Darko is a trader. Uh, also, here's your weapon handling. I guess Big Fat Man's going to take uh, take charge, because I do kind of want that. How do I how do I actually um, select a hero again? Ah, here it is. There we go. Our rootin' tootin' trader. Yeah, on you go. Yeah, it is going to be better for sustainability by a long shot. I do want the lounge as well, but uh, let's get this going. Yeah, I think I'll just tear this down and put a lounge in its place. This isn't so great. The free upkeep, yeah, not sold on it. Right, someone unclogged the toilets. I need this upgraded as well. I want water on site. I certainly want the infirmary upgraded. All this comes at costs, you know. Uh, perhaps I should do the infirmary before other things, because whilst I want a lounge, it does cost 13 materials, which I do not have currently. Oh, I think I positioned this quite poorly. That's a terrible place for the lookout tower. I mean, it wouldn't be much better here, but it would be better. This doesn't really cover anything. Certainly not the front of the building. All right. Taking it back. Cancel that. Remove that. Look at tower goes here. Toilets go here. And yeah, yeah, I know this is costing me my labor, but 
such is the deal we make. And while we're at it, Von Dougal's uh, deposit your stuff and check yourself in. You need a rest. Didn't we say we'd give him an awesome weapon? What was the awesome weapon? I think it was the scar, right? And he certainly earned it after that performance. Take your scar, and just in case I have to jump into you, keep it loaded. AIs don't use ammo, and they don't even need ammo, but I feel better just giving him something. And... I hear you're up for trading. There you go. I've got blood plague and won't last, but I've got good stuff here. Come by if you can. <laughs> okay, nice of you to want to give us your stuff despite the fact you're dying. Anyway, still want to trade you out, so let's have you being taken care of and... Blood money? I'm not in the mood for missions right now, but sure, I think it'll... I think we'll have a bit of time for it. Von Dougals has concerns about this. Now, I could give this blood plague to trader cure, but I'm not sure that's worth it. Someone suffering alone with blood plague won't be a pretty sight. Could be dangerous. What part of no don't you understand? Everything. Uh, good, the infirmary is being upgraded. Are you still working on it? Ah, oh, crap. The, our, our friends there are getting on my case about being given fuel. Uh, I don't. I don't really have the time or freedom to be doing that right now. But we'll we'll get to it. I have no doubt we'll get to it. Where's the blood money person? They're a little bit to the north. Right. I do want my lounge, but we're getting our lave instead. Actually, um, people are pretty happy, but that's because of killing the play cart, isn't it? Yeah, everybody likes killing play carts. But everyone likes having a toilet that flows, so that toilet is flowing. So I need a lot more materials. I need materials for the lounge, I need materials to upgrade the watchtower. And I wouldn't mind upgrading the workshop at some point too. On top of that, hey, having these stills is giving us... Oh, we actually get knowledge of chemistry from having you. Cool. But uh, what we could do is mulch down our food into stuff that we can sell. Great if you have loads of food. We... We're doing alright on food, all things considered. But our plate... Oh, God. <laughs> this is reminding me of uh, Drucker. And not in a good way. Alright. Alright. The only thing Darko is chasing is a McDonald's. <laughs> right, uh, we have the plus 500 build action speed, which is very handy for getting all this stuff done. But we made our move, so I'm going to call it here. On our next session, we're going to get some missions done and continue clearing out more. Uh, oh god, they see they've instantly set up these as siege sites, so we might be put to the test immediately. And just look at all the hordes and freaks around us. Lovely things to look forward to next time. Uh, I am going to need actually more people in this because we got some communities out there. And you know what for the hell of it? Uh, I, won't, I won't add that in just yet. Uh, but yeah, I will need more characters put in. So I don't know if anybody has a link to how to make a character, but it would be appreciated to get more in so I can fill up the enclaves and perhaps have more to draw upon for our... Uh, our team here. How can I sign up for a character? Good question. Let me fish out the, the link. I have a link right here that tells you how to make a character. You don't need to own the game, although it can be made a little faster if you do. Uh, fill that out and then send me your character. You can do it over a Twitch whisper or if you're in the Discord, just DM me, whatever. Um, huzzah. Right, we're going to call it there. I think I already said that. But until I'm back with more of this, probably tomorrow, hopefully this and some DDR tomorrow, so cheers and cheerio.